Right guys, uh, so uh, I put a nice uh, five minute countdown and everything on and I uh, saw the chat and I thought uh, this is weird, people are saying that I'm late uh, and I thought maybe it'll be a few seconds delay, but I'm live now <laughs> because I had actually forgotten to press the go live button. But I had a nice countdown with some pause music and uh, I fiddled around with th some things thinking that everything was in good order, I even sat here and talked to myself a little bit. So uh, just give me a big shout out in the... Uh, in the comments if you can see me, and if you can hear me for that matter. Two minutes good is fine. I'm, I was actually on time, I just didn't broadcast it, but I've recorded it, so I'll, uh, put, it, I'll put it up in the Discord so you can see what you missed. <laughs> Alright, I see some hellos here now, so you can see me, you can hear me. Hopefully the volume on the music isn't blasting away too loud. AV is good, everyone can see me. Great. Sounds great. Alright, nice to be back. Uh, so it's been a week already now since the 24 hour live stream and I can't even believe it myself that that happened. Um, I set it as a challenge and it would be a fun thing to do and I sort of thought I could do it because I've been up for long stints before. But I wanted to give it a go and have a good challenge and what surprised me the most probably is uh, A, that some of you, no names mentioned apart from like uh, Wrecked, I'm not gonna say your full nickname because it got me a few times the last time. Draco, you were a absolute beast. I think you were awake for like 35, 40 hours or something. And then uh, quite a lot of uh, others of you as well just hung out for a lot longer than I thought. So that was uh, spectacular to see. I was also surprised that time went so fast because the 24 hours, it felt like the, the hours were just ticking by uh, one by one and my little segments in between or a lot of fun to do as well. So and then I realized, my, I think my wife told me that, how come all the segments were about you? And, <laughs> and then I realized that everything was like, my hobbies, my work, uh, my assets, my music, yeah, and I, I realized that was probably a bit silly. I should have done more generic game dev stuff for uh, how to do this, so apologies for that. But it's a lot, uh, a lot nice, a lot nice. It's nice to see you all in the comments now. So we're gonna get uh, started with uh, modeling today. We've got uh, Anderson here, you can't see or hear me, but I think uh, it seems to be working, so I think, uh, think uh, we should be all right. It, otherwise, uh, yeah. Thanks, so it should be a BMI. Oh, I've already got uh, a super chat here coming in from uh, Jonathan Blair. Thank you so much. $20 super chat straight away off the bat. Appreciate it. So uh, I even didn't even mention that, but there is uh, the super chat feature if you want to uh, support this stream. And I'm realizing I'm uh, here now on, uh, on a second Saturday in a row now. So two consecutive Saturdays. And last time that happened, it was a bit strange because that's how I started the 10-minute modeling challenge. I put a 10-minute uh, modeling video up and then I thought I'll put another one out the next Thursday just uh, to make it... I don't know if you can call two days consistent, but that's what I thought I'll do anyway. And then it turned into three and now we're up to episode 38. So you never know, this might become uh, one of those things where I just feel myself compelled to sit here and uh, talk every Saturday. But not 24 hours, not 24 hours, not 24 hours. I'll do m maybe three years today's stream. So uh, let's key. Uh, as usual, I talk more than I model. So, uh, and I've realized that my output is uh, dropping down the drain as soon as I start uh, uh, doing a video. So uh, someone asked before as well, I'll tackle that straight away. Someone said, uh, sh will I uh, live stream my Ludum Dare entry? And that could be a fun thing to do, but I think uh, my, my game in the end will be nothing like the other games that I've made. Not that they're, they're any good, but uh, this one would uh, probably contain a lot less, but it would be a lot more fun to do. All right, hey, we've got Diddy Escape and uh, a five pound super chat as well. Thanks a lot. Can, we, can you give me a big fat, sh uh, no, no, didn't say big. Can you give a fat shout out to Mr. T uh, no, excuse me. No, I have to see now. To Mr. Tomato, Tomato, <laughs> uh, Stable and Azerite, RSPS. Yes, I can. Uh, I don't know if I said that right, but that was the biggest shout out anyway. So uh, I don't know if it was that fat, but that was it. So appreciate the super chat. I hope the shout, shout out was good. All right. Uh, I see it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of comments that uh, are going through and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to catch uh, three years. Let's see. Uh, 24. No, no more 24 hours, Lenny. That's not going to happen for now. Uh, we've got uh, how old am I? I'm uh, too old. I'm 45 now. So not too old. Not too old for anything. So um, 45. Let's see. Got a bit of a shout. There's someone else here saying as well. If you want to, I'm, I'm going to sound uh, uh, cheeky again. So if you really want to shout out, those super chats actually really stand out and they make it easy to see. That was one cheeky uh, way to, to promote that one. All right. So uh, let's uh, see now. We're, we're going to go for um, some modeling. I just want to do one thing here on my 
uh, iPad. I, I was trying to set this one up before. I was trying to get YouTube Studio to show my chat on this one because I want to look down here instead of on the other one. So, but maybe maybe this will work. So, here we go. Uh, can I pop this chat out even? Uh, pop out chat. There we go. We've got a few moderators here as well. Much appreciated. We've got uh, Draco, Erect, and uh, I think uh, Alex, Alex was here as well. So that was great. Scott C. Uh, thanks as well. Super chat. Uh, would uh, watch your Ludum Dead uh, stream if I did it. Thanks. That'd be fun. So here we go. There's the chat on that screen now. Everything's starting to fall into place now. So I guess I should share my screen and start doing what I, what we all came here to do. Not hear me speak away like crazy. So uh, here I'm going to increase the chat size here. I learned so many cool tricks on the last stream. So and... That's the uh, YouTube thing there. Oh, we already got 294 people as well. So now we're going to get into things. Everything running? Yeah. So uh, just a quick recap, okay, even though I spoke for a long time. But for those of you who are watching this stream that wasn't that weren't here uh, last Saturday, I did a 24 hour live stream from 6 a.m. in the morning on the Saturday until 6 a.m. Uh, on the Sunday morning. So, uh, but uh, I guess that's not 100% true because I did have about 15 minutes uh, of breaks in total during that period. And I had some sandwiches in the intermissions and uh, while my internet broke down for a few moments. But what I did do then was uh, I was uh, modeling a few low poly characters and uh, they all share the same armature. So I wanted to do that purposely. So, because then they can all share the same animations in Blender as well and in any game engines that you import them to. And uh, so what we ended up with last time, last Saturday, was a bunch of characters and all of them are low poly, no surprise there coming from me. And also they all share the same armature, which I already said, and uh, they all come from this guy, the default guy. And to recap briefly which ones we did, first of all they'll scroll by at the top hopefully, but we have a few, I'll just do them in alphabetical order. We had uh, Ape Lincoln, who's the hobo or homeless guy. And then we had, uh, I'll hide the armature here, we had Billy Bones, who's a skeleton, Caffeine Cathy, we had the default Flynn Taggart, which is the Doom character, but a low poly incarnation of him. We've got uh, his shotgun there. Uh, we've got uh, Gayer the Dirty, who's a mechanic. Hip Shot Henry, who fires from the hip faster than Lucky Luke. But uh, his uh, revolver got missing. If you look at the stream uh, thumbnail, uh, Rekt actually found the revolver. It's somewhere, it's not in Hip Shot Henry's holster or his hands. It's somewhere totally different. So see if you can spot that one. We've got the football player, Liverpool player Ian Rush. We've got uh, me the way I looked last week, because I had my E2Extrude and S2Scale t-shirt, and uh, that one's in the wash, so I couldn't wear that one today. And I couldn't find my default cube one. That's, uh, maybe my kids stole that one. So I'm gonna try to go for that one. We've got a Lego dude, and I have to apologize for this guy, because uh, like I said, they all have to share the same armature. So he doesn't look, uh, the head looks like a Lego dude, but the body is, uh, he's got more like a cosplaying Lego dude. That's why he looks the way he does. This one I have to uh, actually change because I spelled this one wrong. Thanks Lenny for pointing that out. So Margarita, obviously, like the pizza. So she's got a scooter as well. Neo, who's uh, from Matrix, everyone knows. And uh, Obi-Wan Shinobi, who's uh, the ninja. And then we have uh, the princess game designer here with, uh, it looks like a paper hat, but it's meant to be a tiara. And then we had uh, Rusty Robert, and um, he's a knight from the, oh, I can't remember uh, now where, he, what kingdom he was from, but it was quite funny. We've also got a Smurf, or it's also a Smurf cosplayer, because uh, he has to sh say, share the same armature, so his proportions are a bit off. We've got the sniper, Simon Riley Ghost here, from the game. And we've got Tom Ten, which is uh, Santa. And uh, Trey Mac, who's a, a warrior princess. And also what we did is uh, some of these, uh, so they all share the same rig. If we go to the animation tab here, we can see that they all share the same rig and animations. So that's a beautiful, beautiful part. If we pick, uh, so this animation here is the Rusty Robert sword swing. So if I, let's enable that sword. And then you can see that the uh, warrior princess, the hands are a little bit messed up there, but uh, she can actually use and, and wield that sword. And so can, uh, anyway, Santa can do it. And uh, we have uh, Riley Ghost. He could swing it. So this is the beautiful thing when you do share the same. We've got the football player here, then um, that'd be a serious problem if that happened. We can't have a shotgun swing and a sword, that'd be a little bit strange. 
Uh, and then uh, the other good thing is that you can actually just disable this and you can enable other props that they have. So for example, if we have the same animation here, and let's put Santa back on, so Tom 10, and let's put his bag here. Because usually he'd carry this on his back, but if he's uh, in, in a bad mood, he'll start swinging that one. So this is a good way to uh, share the animations. We also have, uh, for example, we have the Neo from Matrix animation here. If we scroll up, we go bullet time. But that one's a bit longer, maybe 140 frames. He's got some problems there, so it's not so good that Tom 10 does that. Maybe uh, Neo will do that one. He doesn't have any props. So all of these animations are uh, included then. And um, I should, just before I start modeling as well, I'll mention that the uh, in the description, there's a direct link to uh, a pre-purchase. So after this video stream tomorrow, since I'll be well rested tomorrow, I'm gonna be uh, sending that one out into that package. So basically if you pre-order now, you get a PDF just uh, to say that you're gonna get something. And uh, up tomorrow I'll update that one and save the blend file. So uh, check in the description, click on that link if you want to pre-order it, and um, that um, you can use these game characters then for whatever you want, or build upon them. Maybe use the base uh, default and do your own characters that share the same rig, follow the same process, use this uh, stream as a bit of a template on how you could build it on it. So royalty-free stuff, if you want to get that one, you can use it for... Uh, the only thing you can't do it with is uh, sell them on, like on, a, on a site that sells stuff, but you can uh, use them in your games, royalty-free. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's uh, before I start the modeling part, I've, I've covered most of the introduction now. That was 15 minutes. I uh, just want to check the chat a little bit now to make sure. I'd... Okay, and that doesn't stream. That doesn't uh, scroll for one strange reason or another. It should have a scroll thing. Okay, now it scrolls. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Andreas Brillen. So the knight was f the knight from the Kipper Kingdom. Thanks for uh, remember. I, I, I knew it was something similar to those, but I didn't quite remember it. So everything here, uh, Lego Man. We've got yeah, that's uh, Neo on the sky. Oh yeah, that happened as well. We had a, an issue here. If you, uh, I should actually repeat that one because that was a bit of a spontaneous one that happened. If we have Neo here, and uh, we had his bullet time here, and then we accidentally. I say we, I guess it's uh, my own fault, but we uh, managed to uh, enable the Margarita scooter here. So he ended up on a slightly uh, strange pose on that scooter there. So uh, this is his remaining, uh, let's see. All right, we've got some uh, chats going on here. Good evening, everyone. Uh, your color palette, yeah, check out my uh, Learn Low Poly Modeling. Oh, did I miss a super chat? Hello, hold on, hold on, let's go back. Our dev stuff. Thanks. You got a super chat there, indeed. Which one of the characters are you most happy with? Wah! Well, I'm not happy that I dropped my hair, but... Uh, so I'll start with that. Let's have a look. Uh, so the one I'm most happy with uh, of the characters... I I think I'm most happy with uh, Sniper Riley Ghost and his weapon. I think that's the one I'm most happy with. Let's see if we bring him up again. So he obviously doesn't look anything like the real one. But I was sort of happy with uh, with the way he looked uh, as a if if I were to pick one, and then I'm happy with uh, Tom Ten as well. He's uh, happy with him, and uh, the Warrior Princess, which was uh, Terry Mac, that was pretty all right. Uh, she's got some props as well, the sword and a shield. So all right, okay. And I'm gonna bring my other chat thing up here so I don't miss the. I'm a bit scared of missing the. Uh, the super chat actually, because uh, they don't stand out. They stand out very good, but I have to look down here. So Scott C, I've got you. Uh, our dev stuff, yeah, I've got you. I think I'm up to speed now. So uh, if I miss super chats, bad on me, shame. But uh, give me a shout. Keep keep shouting in the comments, then I'll hopefully catch it. All right. So, oh yeah, Billy Bones. He was quite good, Jim. I agree. I'm happy with him as well. I like when Tom then had the sniper rifle. Yeah, I'm gonna get demonetized for saying weapon stuff here, but I have to. Hopefully that'll work. All right, let's get cracking. Let's, uh, we're not gonna do a cracking this time, but we're gonna start to model. We've got everything running here, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, I left my water in the stairs for some reason. Okay, I've got uh, five, eight characters left from the stream. So I had the super chat requests to do some characters and we're gonna do finish those off today. And I guess I could still take new ones if this is gonna become a sort of a semi Saturday thing. Uh, we can keep them coming and I'll add them to that list. So 
the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a Scotsman, a killer in an overall. I've got a male druid with amber eyes and, uh, let's see, and a pet golden eagle. I've got a caveman or a bushman. I've got a voodoo princess, a gold. Is that how you say it? I've got a, this one I don't know how to say, a Bal Hanuman and a doom style demon like imp. So uh, a few of you, I don't know if uh, I see a few of you here. So, oh yeah, <laughs> try to make a whole Fortnite game alone. Yep. Good luck with that. I get to actually some emails like that, but I don't want to discourage people. I, my advice when doing game dev is to start super simple. And when I say super simple, I mean have a box that jumps or a capsule like an, I did in my one. And then make that capsule fall down or jump twice or push someone over and then uh, see what you can achieve before you head on to do uh, that every Saturday. Uh, see that. All right. Thanks for uh, the 100k as well. Super happy about that. And um, I'm going to head on for two, 200,000 now. I know this is going to be a long stream if I hit the same speed. All right, eight characters. Yeah, because I only did 19 during the whole thing. So maybe I should talk less and do more. That's the usual thing. So uh, let's get cracking out. We've got the UV editing tab I usually model in. We've got the palette here. So check out my uh, learn low poly uh, modeling if you want to see how to use this palette thing. And the Scotsman, that's the first one we're going to do. I'm going to go show the armature and then go to... Uh, here, control tab, A, and then actually I'll just switch back to the T-pose. Uh, I think the animations is what also took quite a bit, a long time last time. So I haven't quite decided yet uh, how to go with the animations because they're fun to have as well. So, hmm, especially since they can share them. So I've got a question here from Loop S. Uh, when you model, do you use pictures for reference? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I actually bring the templates in like when I do cars or airplanes. So I have the blueprints in, in the viewports. Sometimes I look at something on the left of my screen, but for my 10 minute modeling, I don't have time to do that. It wouldn't, I wouldn't have time to look at a reference. So I look at some pictures before of what something looks like. And then I try to get as close as I can. And for these characters that I'm doing today, I do, uh, I look at, uh, usually I'll just Google like the topic. If I'm going to do a Scotsman now, for example, I'll Google Scotman, Scotsman with a bagpipe in the Google images search. And then I'll just sort of get the characteristics from that. So, oh yeah, I've got gamers level up. Uh, I'm going to, that's my wife, by the way. <clears throat> so thanks for joining. Uh, I guess the uh, Maya has finally fell asleep now as well. I'm going to, let's see now, if I find you here, I'm going to do you a mod as well. That could be dangerous too, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to add you as a moderator. No, you're a moderator, wife. Thank you. And thanks for the help last uh, 24 hours as well. That was super helpful. I don't think I credited you enough, but you saved uh, me from a lot of uh, foolish things there. So, I think that's it. And uh, wife, you're also welcome to Super Chat if you want to support this uh, stream. Gamers level up. I expect to see a, a, a nice sticker or a shout out from you with a decent amount, so thanks. I'll buy you coffee as a thank you for that. Or I'll even percolate one, or I'll do instant coffee for you. All right, Daniel, glad you can make it to, as well. I'm just seeing some random comments on the left here. What, I even forgot what I was doing now. So we've got uh, the default guy, it's in T-Pose mode, UV editing, and we're gonna do uh, control tab and go into object mode, hide the armature again, and now we'll do 21 minutes and I'm copying my first character now. These are going to be some boring Saturdays for you guys if you want to come <laughs> learn modeling. <laughs> Just talking. So, Scotsman. And you can name that one as well. I don't think we have a name for the Scotsman yet. It was, oh yeah, we had uh, George Macmillan. We had, so I lied. And that was Fab uh, Fabian Neubert who uh, requested this one. So. And we already named it. To that one straight away and now on the left scene you won't you won't see me doing this but i'm going to google here on the left now going scotsman bag pipe because he wanted to have a bagpipe and i'll go for images and if you want to follow along you could google the same thing because we might have similar results so i'm going to do something with a black uh waistcoat a kilt that's red and uh, a bit green bare legs check uh, just some socks here a black hat and a bagpipe Go for it. I usually uh, start with the, uh, so I've got the, this one copied tab. So I'm gonna change the color scheme now. So the orange top here is gonna go into a black or a dark. Usually I don't like to go fully black. 
Uh, I like to keep either not and, and not fully white either for that matter because uh, then it might oversaturate and like leave out shadows. So I usually go for like a really dark gray instead. And uh, for the legs, we'll just do. Uh, let's see, that's the blue pants there, so we'll drop them to there. And then we'll put white socks on him as well. Control R, loop cut, Alt to select that one as a ring selection. Get some white socks there. And he's uh, gonna have a kilt, luckily enough, because this looks hideous. Um, he's got some uh, bear skin here. That's no good. So uh, let's select Control R here. And then we'll bring this out. I'm making it worse now. But I'm gonna extrude the kilt from here. And that's gonna be a bit red, so here. Alty. And also, gamers level up, slash wife. I, if I do something, uh, if I miss something, I've, got, I've just missed now uh, some uh, super chat. So I'm going to take those before you come. You don't have to run down yet. But if I do something else stupid, run down as usual and uh, and uh, tell me. So we've got uh, Graham. Uh, I cannot say these names. So if you want to have uh, me shout out your name properly, you should have a simple name. Uh, Graham is easy enough. So um, file eyes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Motivation. Thank you so much for that. Super chat, much appreciated. And ye play uh, as well, $5 super chat, thank you. Uh, thank to your wife for supporting you, God bless you. Thank you very much. And we've got uh, Jose uh, Prados. I really appreciate your videos and streams. Still re-watching last Saturdays to get in detail. Thanks a lot. Thanks, I'm gonna, uh, I wonder if I'll watch that in the future someday as well. That could be fun to actually see what you saw. I'd probably uh, regret a lot of things then. My dad uh, called me and said I looked really tired. I probably did, <laughs> which I was, but I didn't feel that tired. Let's extrude. Alti, extrude long face normals. S to scale it and bring it down. Control plus to expand the selection and go for a re uh, red. Why didn't it change color? A, scale zero, because we have different colors there. So we'll go for a red. I keep doing this one, which people tells me is orange. So maybe I need to get my uh, my color vision, but this is definitely red, so let's go for that one. The problem uh, that you might run into is, uh, okay, no peeking, no. The problem that you might run into is when you have, want to have patterns. So this method of uh, texturing is really good if you want solid colors, but let's say we wanted to have a checkered pattern here now on this kilt. That's a bit problematic because you'd need to subdivide like this, like an insane person. And that's a lot of unnecessary geometry, so then it would be better to texture map these, but I won't do that for these polys, because uh, so I'm just going to go for the big blocks of colors instead. But what we could do is uh, do a little slit here. So I'll do maybe, uh, let's see, we'll do here on the side, we can do it. Okay, I can rotate this one to get it into, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> maybe like that. Here we can do I to inset this one to get a little bit extra detail there. And if I want to here, I could delete this, delete faces, and then we get a bit of a gap here. But uh, we can select these with the shift key and press F to uh, create new faces here. F. Let's see, I missed one maybe. F there, and then uh, I've got the uh, F2 add-on selected as well, so you could uh, but then you drop the UV. If I only press this one and press F, I drop the UV coloring. So I, I often like to select the whole thing anyway and do F to create a new face there. Like this one, scale it down, move it out. So there we've got a bit of a slit on the kilter. So uh, he also needs something on his head. So a black uh, hat, a big hat, a big hat, massive hat. And what I'll do here is uh, he should be able to take this hat off. So hats off to him and we'll do shift. Let's see, control plus there, shift D to just duplicate this scalp. S to scale it. And then we've got a separate object here, but it's still in the same object. That makes no sense, but that's how it is. And then we'll do Alt E to extrude long face normals now. L to select the linked vertices, because nothing's still connected to the head. A on the left here, and then change it to black or a dark gray, and move this one up. So that's his head, or not his head, that's his uh, hat. And uh, I think I'll leave it like that. <clears throat> Control R, maybe make it slightly different like that. 
Okay, and uh, we should actually keep it as a separate object. So L again and P and then do uh, selection here. And then we should uh, name this new object here. Hat. So same as the prefix, so we know whose hat it is. And then we'll do hat there. Let's see. I want to make sure as well that I miss anything. Nope. Good. So I'm missing loads of chat lines, but I want to make sure I don't uh, miss the super chats as well. So there's no split. <laughs> there's a nine yards run space, almost 9 p.m. Ah, right, okay. There's no there's no slit. And we've got a pro here. I think, uh, Al, are, you are from Scotland, aren't you? Sorry about that. Let's bring that slit right down. Can't have, I can't start off with uh, getting told off like that. So let's do this. And then, um, okay, then we'll just do this. That would be lethal to have a slit there anyway. You'd have all sorts of weirdos looking at that. So let's get rid of it. Bad idea. Okay, this is uh, actually quite good because the uh, sometimes you'll get into things and maybe you don't have the ability to revert. So be, being able to repair a mesh, you shouldn't really be too afraid of going back and just deleting faces and, and things. You'll learn a lot from it. So in this case, to, re to repair this one, maybe I'll, I'll do X here to, to dissolve that edge. I'll do X here to dissolve that edge. We've still got some broken stuff. Oh. That's, that puts, just sends me uh, shivers, really. But let's uh, see here. Uh, X to delete this one. Let's just delete the whole edge. Let's do uh, these we don't need anymore. X to delete those edges. And we're starting to get back a little bit here. Actually, we can just delete this one as well. These X to delete the edges, delete these edges there. And then now, if I shift select these uh, and do F, that'll, and you'll see now what happened here. The reason why the colors weren't all uh, super weird is because uh, this skin tone here is all the way down here, and it try and it's just trying to interpolate to the red color here. The way to fix this one is just on the left here, hover and do S to scale zero, and then G to move it to the color that you want. And if you want the exact same color, and it's not too picky in here, but if I shift select this one as well, another face here, then you can see that they're two different colors. So it's if you wanted to reference where exactly it is, you could uh, try to match them up a little bit better, or you can select all the red and redo it. For example, like this, if you wanted to redo all the reds to one color, you select like I did here. I do double or I click A to select everything, and then I see these red colors here. I'll do uh, double click A on the left, B to box select these. Now I know I've got all the red colors. Scale zero here, and that shrinks them down here to one color. So all the reds now are the same. And uh, now I do that sometimes as well. I actually hide this collection by mistake quite often. And uh, here, final thing to fix it. X to delete that edge. And delete these X. And then we'll do the same here. So I just took the opportunity now. I know it's uh, taken a bit of time, but I wanted to show you how uh, how you can repair stuff like this without uh, too much. You don't sh shouldn't be concerned to fix it. And now we're back to where we started. So that was five minutes wasted. Thanks. <laughs> oh, we got uh, <laughs> the Lenny. Somehow I ended up here again. You're wel welcome, and uh, you're very welcome to visit. Uh, Lenny's an old time friend of mine. We uh, went to the same high school even. So. He's still, uh, he's the reason I got into Blender. He kept pushing me and pushing me and finally I did it. So thanks. And we got wrecked. I'm not going to say a full name because it got me every time last week. Uh, appreciate the, so, oh, all the upskirts shot. We've got a moderator here going all crazy. So thanks for that, wrecked. You're welcome. One final one for you. There you go. And it's not a skirt, it's a kilt. All right. So let's go for, um, <laughs> let's see. True, oh yeah, that's right. A, a true Scott doesn't wear anything below the, oh, below the kilt. Or you mean under, because below, I guess uh, the feet are below. And uh, this would be under, I guess. But you're uh, you're true. All right. So uh, this is a great pace, I can tell. And uh, <laughs> we're going to get 20. I guess we're here for... Uh, I guess it's uh, not the productive outcome that's the main key. It's the, the camaraderie, uh, the having a good time in the chat and just uh, maybe learning a few things in the process. All right, we should uh, at least have a... So we've got the hat here. I'm not going to do anything under that hat. So here we go. Also, there... I... Uh... No, I won't be... 
I think this hat might actually have a, a problem because it's still got the armature modifier. We, do, we don't want that one because uh, we don't want that weight painted. We delete the armature modifier for the hat here because uh, we want this one to be a child of. If you remember last week, if you were here, you should have been. <laughs> but if you weren't, let's do it. So I can add a modifier. Uh, no, I'm not a modifier. I go here to this uh, little thing, whatever that is. Add object constraint, child of. And then here we do armature and head. And then it disappears, and it's because we need to click this uh, set inverse here. <laughs> right. Yeah, three hours, two and a half characters done. Continued next week. This could become uh, a Saturday thing, I feel. But my wife will have the final word on that one. She might hate the idea of me being down here every Saturday. Not that I'm not here every Saturday anyway. I tend to spend a little bit of uh, too much time down here in front of the computer. Okay. And maybe a uh, color here as well. I'm gonna get told off as well because they don't. Maybe they don't have colors. So I to inset this. Okay, let's do. Like, I just want uh, some different different definition here. They've got clothes at least. So let's do uh, I to inset. Alt E to extrude. And then we've got at least some something different here on the on his body. I'm gonna get told off again. I know. They don't have that. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got that. Does Invencia ever do some stylized textures or proper UV unwrapping? And just like his style, but was wondering. So that was uh, JM does, I was asking. And uh, I do uh, texture maps too. But as of late, I've mostly done uh, this stuff because I've, I'm stuck into the, uh, the, just doing these. Oh, we've got an issue here I need to fix. Uh, we've got, uh, I, I just do these low poly characters so much lately. But I do texture mapping and UV unwrapping with seam and stuff like that as well. So I need to uh, do that one. Uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial on that one as well. Might not be my my area of expertise really, but I do uh, a fair amount of that one. And I do some texture mapping with uh, Substance Painter, for example, as well for hard surface objects, so spaceships and things. So let's get rid of these. Uh, just X to delete those faces. And then here's the nice thing as well. When you got the mirror modifier on and clipping, then uh, all we need to do to fix this is to grab these seams like this and then slide it into there. I'm, I'm going to get told off now. Here's steps. Oh, the skirt is too short. I mean, it's a kilt, first of all. <laughs> so gamers level up. Okay, I'll have to make it longer then. So thanks. <laughs> thanks. Missed that comment. Well, let's make it longer then. Sorry, Wrecked. You're gonna have to uh, Google some other stuff now instead of looking at this one. Scale. Also, you can see that this one is not flat anymore. You could do F3 and type flatten here. Apparently not, because uh, I've upgraded to uh, Blender 2.9, so that one didn't work anymore, but it's on Loop Tool here and flatten. And that flattens this one. So I recommend this one really much. It's uh, Loop Tools add-on. So. Okay, now it needs to be plaid as well. We're going to get stuck on this character forever. <laughs> I'm going to have to move on. Okay. That's it. Bagpipe time. So uh, I'll have a look at what a bag... That looks... Uh, okay, it's not going to be an authentic bagpipe here. But to do an, a bagpipe, let's do... Let's see. The, usually I copy a face off here. But I don't want mirror modifier on. So what I'll do is... Uh, I'll still just copy. Shift D. Copy this face. Move it out to here. And then I'll do P and separate this selection into, uh, and then we'll rename. This is a new object now that came out. Double click on that one and then just write uh, bag pipe. And then we'll uh, get rid of the armature modifier. Bye bye. And we'll get rid of the mirror modifier. <clears throat> and all of that just to create this single face. You could have just done shift A and added a new one. Uh, why not sub uh, Andreas Brillen here? Why not subdivide the kilt while everything else is hidden? I should. Uh, can you actually do that? Even I don't think uh, subdivision is the modifier that you would add to if that affects the whole object. What I could do is uh, I could subdivide this by Alt selecting it like this, Control Plus, and then I could right click and do subdivide a few times. The problem then is, uh, oh yeah, I see what you mean. Just for the, is this for the checkered pattern or is it for, uh, yeah, good point, Andreas. You could definitely do this. 
So the only thing you might have an issue with here is that this could be uh, when it animates, since uh, this is one face and this topology is not so good. But we can try it for sure. But let's do a, a checkered pattern. I know they're not checkered as such either. That's an, another issue. They're like checkered pattern, but not like a checkered color. But, oh, here's a good one as well. Here's a, a really good, it's full of uh, tips in this one. So if I alt select all of these, it's a lot of uh, unnecessary geometry here. I actually get rid of these. So shift and alt select these. X to uh, remove or dissolve those edges. These can still be here because then we can have the kilt disform a little bit like this, maybe through the animation. So that's okay. And the interiors are okay as well. But now I'll alt select on the edge here. That's a uh, loop selecting. So remember, alt select in face select mode here and click on the edge, not on the face, but on the edge here. And then hold the shift key in to do multiple ones there. And then here's a, a good one, F3 and type in checker. So you get checker deselect. Press enter and that uh, deselects every other one. And now I'm gonna get told off again because I was gonna make uh, it checkered like this. But I know that the checkered kilts aren't like that. And we also have a problem here in the with it being mirrored. So before we do that, we have to apply the mirror modifier. And I think we're done with this general shape. So what I'll do is I'll actually apply this one. We can always re redo it if we need. So new in 2.9 as well, the apply here is gone. It used to be an apply button here. But in 2.9, you hover over it and press control A to apply that modifier. So if you're wondering what happened to that one. And now let's redo this thing again. So I'll do Alt, Alt Shift Select. That's it. And uh, we'll do F3, check or deselect. And now we can go for a different red here. Okay, and we've got some other issues now. It's because I need to, uh, let's see, A, G. I hadn't moved all of them, so. I know it's not the right checkered because they should be like hollow checkered, but that would add even more uh, geometry now. Okay, you can do the drop down to do apply. You can do uh, here, yeah. So you can drop down. It used to be, I think, displayed right here in the bar, which I actually preferred, I think. But uh, either drop down, apply, or you do control A while you hover over it. So. so all right, uh, Alessio Rossi, please make IK to the arm and hand. And uh, if I do that, we're going to be here for a lot longer again, because I think uh, the IKs for the hand, setting it up is not a problem. But the problem is uh, that you need to uh, have the switching between forward and inverse kinematics, it's because uh, a lot of the times you don't want IK for the arms. If you do a walk animation and you've got IK on the hands, the hands will be staying in the same position as they walk. So like they'll just, it's quite tricky to animate the arms. So in that case, you need to do switching between forward and IK, and then you have sometimes you have to have dual bones set up for that, or it's quite a tricky thing. So for these type of characters to keep the speed up, I actually prefer to uh, to uh, live with the fact that it's a bit trickier to animate them when you do it that way, because animation with forward kinematic is uh, tricky when you have a double-handed sword. It's actually not a really a good way to do it all, so you have to sort of match it roughly. But the beauty thing with the low poly characters, unless you want them to be uh, perfect, then you usually have them zoomed out like this. So animations, you get away with it, uh, doing it that way. But you'll save a lot of time, especially good if you're just making a fun game on your own or something. So, uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. I'm uh, live today, not a premiere. So every Thursday is the uh, 10 minute modeling premiere. I'm too much of a chicken to do those live. So, uh, but I was uh, thinking about uh, doing a few more uh, just casual live streamings like this. So it'll be fun. All right, cool stuff. Yeah, for sword is the best. I, I agree, Alessio. It's definitely better because uh, then you just have to move the sword in, I, in IK mode and uh, the arms will follow. But let's, let's go for it. Let's continue with that bagpipe now. So uh, E to extrude that on, L, scale it. And I have to just look at some reference pictures here roughly, but uh, it makes absolutely no sense how they hold these things. So. I'll, under the arm somehow. I'm not gonna animate it. And again, we get away with it being low poly, so let's just make, uh, what should I do? We can do Control R to subdivide it a couple of times. Alt, select these, do S to scale it, and do Shift Z to only scale it on the not Z axis. And then we'll do here, E to extrude that on, S to scale it. And then here we're gonna put a, a whole, uh, 
bag of pipes. So uh, we've got pipes coming out all, all over this place. So we're going to just make something that makes sort of sense. Again, not authentic, this. Just do something that resemble it, scale it down and make it uh, make the problem disappear. That one should be maybe red. Some of them are red, some of them are green, some of them are black. What color do you want? I'll start with a, a gray just so you can tell the difference and tell me uh, whichever. Bag of pipes, that's right. So it looks like a bee's nest instead or a wasp nest. But let's uh, try to do something with this. And they come out of here and here and here, we'll say one, two, three, four, five pipes, I see, of different lengths. The longest one being up here, so I to inset that one maybe. E to extrude it. And uh, E to extrude that one, S to scale, E to extrude, and then we'll just do a bunch of loop cuts there. <clears throat> We've got uh, this one, I'll do this. You can, if you want to scale these, and let's say you wanted to make them uh, smaller, you can do comma here and do normal, and now you can scale on the y-axis. So it does it to the normal of the face instead of the world uh, axis. So scale y. And you could do these at the same time as well if I alt select these. Uh, but then we also have to press period and go individual origins, scale y, and then you can shrink those at the same time. And then we'll just make those white. And then here we'll do another pipe here. So i to inset, e to extrude. That one's a bit too wide. So scale y-axis. We're still in face uh, uh, or in normal mode here. So e to extrude. Let's do, uh, they should look a bit similar. Let's do them all at once here. So e to extrude that one a bit shorter. I to inset. E. S to scale y-axis. E to extrude. And then here. I to inset. E to extrude. And then we've got some... Uh, I don't even know which one they blow in. Let's uh, put one here that they can blow in. E to extrude. This looks uh, like some weird beetle or something instead. S to scale. E to extrude. So here we go. And then uh, I'm not even going to look at the comments now because I'm going to get told off so much for the way this looks. So E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. And then we'll do those slits here as well. So control R. 4. Control R. 4. Control. Control R, four. Select all of these with Alt and Ring select on these. Oop. Scale Y to shrink them along their own. See all these uh, normal axes now show up. G, move it to that color. Okay, maybe I should do, uh, just to separate a little bit, I'll make this part of the bagpipe red, I think, just so it stands out. <clears throat> to do that, maybe we'll do uh, A to select everything and make it, let's see, shift that one to red. And then here I'll do select the outer ones here. Control plus. And then get that one back to like a black. And then here, control plus A, B. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a hit for the team here and look at the comments now. We got some uh, gr green. Okay, we got green. I don't know if are you authentic? Uh, are you uh, a Scotsman here? Um, that says green. I need to uh, see Al, uh, Al, uh, Al Einstein here. You need to confirm here which color. Oh. All right. Sorry if I'm missing some comments here. Okay, green and not red. All right. I'll do that to make it different then. Green. All right. Okay, now we're going to try to post this to be able to play this one. So I think uh, this one, first of all, should be a bit longer because it seemed to be longer. So do that. Scale y-axis. One of these seems to be quite long. So. G. Okay. Now uh, let's put him in a post then. Then we need to show the armature here and then do control tab. Oop. Control tab. Go into the animation tab. And uh, we should do, let's see, we'll make uh, the bagpipe uh, child of, we need to do as well. So uh, maybe we should do that first as well. Go back into the UV editing tab here. Press this one. 
add child const or child of armature and then let's see we'll uh, have the right hand control the way the bagpipe is so you can rotate the right hand to control which way it faces hand dot r and then set inverse again and we can actually move this one instead of doing set inverse here we'll do g to move it to the hand g to rotate y to okay x no I need to do comma and do global period and do medium point here Okay, we've got here, rotate, okay, it's rotating around this, uh, let's see, what have I done here? Is that a vertex that I've got? That shouldn't be there. Elite vertex, no. All right, it's the center of origin is down here, so I need to recenter this origin. I'll select the object, right click and do set origin, and I'll do it, origin to geometry there. And then we'll rotate this one, just put it like in his hand here, like this. That's one way to get away with it. Here we go. And now we can animate him. So we'll go to animations tab and all I'll do is I'll put him in an animation pose where, he, where he's holding the, the thing. And then you can blend these. I'll do some walk animations later on as well for these characters. Because when you do it in a game engine, then you could uh, do a layer filtering. So the uh, legs could play one animation when he's walking and uh, the upper arms or the upper body could have a layer mask to uh, have him play the bagpipe. Oh, I don't know if that's how you play it. <clears throat> so let's see, uh, Al Einstein, you get it. Let's see, I need to find Al. Uh, you've said something more, uh, probably something important. You, uh, you're making a pretty good job. Three, three drones, a pipe to blow in and one to play. All right, nice one. So I was expecting to get uh, told off there, but uh, I'll, I'll take it. 50 minutes gone, we've got a bagpipe and a bunch of people. Let's see how we're we doing for the stream, actually. We've got uh, nearly 300 people. Nice. Nice way to spend a Saturday watching me going on about weird stuff. But you're very, very welcome. So, here we go. I have to review the a sword. Okay, I have to review the chat comments afterwards to, as well. I'll, I'll probably laugh my head off to see what you've been going on about meanwhile. We're in the animation tab now, so uh, we'll create a new animation. I'll click new here, and then we'll call it by his name. Do I still have his name? Yeah, control V to paste it. And then uh, bag, pipe, bag, bag playing, playing with bag, bag. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then I'll put uh, this little uh, shield icon and then uh, do R. And then we'll put him in a post now to do uh, some. Okay, so we've got a few things going on here. First of all, I need to do Control Tab to go into uh, post mode. That's how simple it was. We'll rotate this, this one. Okay, I'm on frame zero for some reason. I need to be on frame one here. There we go. Rotate arm. Rotate arm. R to rotate. So here is where in inverse kinematics you could have uh, like just moved the bagpipe into place instead of having to mess around with these angles. But as I said before. It could be, uh... there we go, it's close now. I finished that sentence, uh, I didn't even finish that sentence, I just went halfway and then I cut off. And I forgot what I was about to say. Hard to rotate, there we go. And then we've got some issues here because he's he's uh, impaled on this thing now. So uh, we'll do, but we'll fix that in a minute. It's meant to be under his... Uh... I mean, the whole, like, he can't drink it like a like a thing, so I'll have to probably make that pipe a little bit longer, possibly, or I'll bend his head down. Let's do that. Can't just expect to reach it from standing up, so... Here we go. R to rotate. R to rotate. So this is the tricky part to get that into it, but let's do what we can here. R to rotate that one, R to rotate maybe on the... Oop. Rotate the Z axis. There we go. Then here we'll curl this one up to here. You're meant to play this with pride, probably. This one, it looks like he's uh, shamefully looking down into it, but otherwise, you couldn't reach it. Curling here. <laughs> Curling. That's what you do with kids uh, nowadays. If. Uh, 
you're a bad parent. Fair enough. Okay, we got a problem now with the pipes. So to fix that one, we could uh, control tab, go to this object now, and then try to rotate it so it uh, is in the right direction here. Oh, because we know that the hands are pretty much where we want them. So I have to look at a picture now. They're meant to be poking, poking up over his shoulder somehow. We've got some serious issues here with G to move it on, G to move it, R to rotate. Now he can, he might be able to straighten up again. There we go. Look, he can bend his head back again. He can be proud again. There we go. And now we should bring it up a little bit more, maybe. Rotate the hand. There we go. You know what? I'm going to be uh, sort of okay with that, I think. And uh, we should... Um, let's animate this as well. We've only done the pose now. And I've actually accidentally called this one T-Pose. Why did I do that? Okay, so I ended up editing the wrong pose. Let's see if we have the... Uh, we've got uh, there. This is going well, isn't it? So let's go back to the T-Pose. We'll have to rename this one. So let's see. We've got here F2, Control A, select that one. Go back to the T post that we accidentally animated over. What is going on here? We've got some serious issues. If I corrupted this somehow. Uh huh, okay. Managed to uh, mess up the whole thing here. Maybe I have moved this one by mistake. Let's save this with a different name, first of all. Uh, let's see. Broken, I'll call it, just in case we've actually messed this one up. Let's see. Yeah, I think he's possessed, actually had a hand. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what's happened there. So the armature is... Uh, control tab, let's see what we've actually done here. Have we... Flip the location, Alt R, Alt G. Okay, that was too many things that came back. We can hide the preview here. Let's see, we've got this one. Alt G. Okay, we're still recording here, so let's take off the keyframing. Alt G, Alt R. Okay, that's not a problem. Alt R, Alt G. And let's bring the, let's see, the bagpipe playing here again. Alt R, Alt G. Maybe I've actually something has happened here. I think it, we've got a object transform here. I've actually accidentally uh, done something here. So let's see. Yeah, it's origin or location. That's right. Yeah, I'm living in Sweden. Thanks uh, for asking. I also yep. I use fences uh, Colin. Let's bring him back here. I think I've just uh, accidentally done. Uh, moved him the transform and we can actually delete this one because we shouldn't have animated that in the first place that's the scary thing when the key framing is on here auto keying sometimes you move something and uh it ends up where you don't want it to be <clears throat> in an animation let's just make sure that these things work now control tab into post mode we've got the aim post there from tiger flynn tiger we've got that one the wrench thing let's see yeah that one's there he's uh, Having a good time there with a the bagpipe. Let's see. And the bagpipe itself then. This is the thing. I've got uh, something in this animation is keying it away to where it's not supposed to be. So let's bring back the bagpipe. Sorry for going on about this one, but this happens sometimes. So it's pretty good that it happens because you'll, uh, if you're new to Blender and animating, you'll probably get yourself into these troubles sometimes. And uh, sometimes you'll revert to a previous save if you've done that just before. Sometimes you actually need to figure out what happened and fix it. And usually if it flips out like this and sends it flying somewhere, it's not because he's <laughs> jumping there. It's because uh, you've actually accidentally put some keyframes in. So if I do... Let's see if we can find this thing. Object mode. Summary. Have we got something here? And sometimes you need to scroll up here. It, it could be hidden up here as well somewhere. That's not it. Let's see, here. 
I might have to delete this animation and redo it if that's what happens. Alt G, Alt R. I uh, just want to make sure that these are intact. Yeah, Hipshot Henry <laughs> is firing that bagpipe like a true hero now. So, don't mess with that. Uh, but there is a keyframe in this one. Mac Forge here. Play. Okay, something. There's something. Uh, e pose. Okay, it's the T pose one. Here we go. That's the uh, that's the culprit. Uh, is that how you say? See, yeah, you. That's right. You learn so much from sorting errors. I couldn't agree more. Uh, that's a really good way to go through it. Just to try to figure out what's happening and learn from it. That's the best way. Let's see, I've got something else here. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I want to make sure I'm not missing too many uh, chats here now. Okay, and this one seems to be set to top chats only, so I'm only seeing a few here, apparently. Live chats. Should see them all. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, get back to it. So here's the thing. In uh, the T-Pose, I actually put this keyframe in that's been... the uh, Creating this thing happening here. So delete that keyframe. And then we have to bring them back. So we'll do uh, Alt Control Tab into the object mode because this is the one that I've sent flying. So Alt R to reset the rotation, Alt G to reset the position here. That was uh, what was messing up in the T pose. So we'll go back to. And here we've got another thing then. It's Control Tab. I actually accidentally made the T pose into uh, this bagpipe thing. And the uh, this one. The actual bagpipe one here, the action, this one. Let's see what that one is. Okay, we still have an issue here. Control tab. Could this be. Uh... Alt R, Alt G. There's something really strange here. Control object mode, Alt R, Alt G. So something in this, uh, it could actually be attached here as well into the bagpipe object. It could be to the hat object. It could be this one, but it most likely would have been this one. The summary thing tells me that there is something there. Because here, the hat doesn't have a summary here, but this one does. So if I expand this one, sometimes it's you have to pan up as well to see it. But that doesn't seem to be the issue. So play. We'll go back to this summary we've got. I think there is something hiding here. Bagpipe origin is all over the place. The bagpipe origin is here, but it's yeah, it's linked to. Let's see. Uh, if we bring this one up here, It's a child over here. Let's delete that one for a sec. That one's okay. Yeah, the bag. That shouldn't have a link there. I can't see why it would have had... Uh... Oh yeah, it's because it's linked to the armature, which origin is down here. But it's linked to this bone. So I think that's actually correct, the way it is. Yeah, I agree. It's a good uh, way to save regularly and uh, revert if there's a problem. Because sometimes you get into these where... But it, I, again, I'd say that it's uh, quite good to try to figure out. So, because... Then uh, you'll learn, like, what happened in the end. So we got uh, that one, the hat's flying off. Let's go back to... Uh, T-pose. Let's see here. Okay, this one we can do. And this shouldn't be animated. This one should definitely be... So the hat here is th there. This hat uh, origin needs to be fixed as well. So right-click on that one. It's Alt-G, Alt-R, that one. That one's okay. I've got a, a silly animation on that one. Okay, I'll, I'll redo... I think I'll... Uh, maybe I'll scrap this uh, animation that I did then in the end. So this one seems to be one of the scary ones that we are breaking things with. That one resets this one. I wonder if 
Any thoughts if this could be a, a 2.9 thing? Usually uh, I suspect bugs sometimes, but they're not really yet. So, but I'm a bit surprised to see that the hat is flying off without uh, any keyframes. And I'm a bit surprised that the summary shows up here without being able to see any keyframes, because usually the summary means that there is something here. Because if it had no animations, then it would be uh, somewhere else, so. But uh, we'll do uh, Alt-R, Alt-G on that one one more time. Double check here. Go back to the bagpipe. And that resets it. So I think there is something here. <laughs> yeah, give him a big bass drum instead. Uh, let's see, maybe I can go to Dope Sheet here instead. That should be the, pretty much the same, actually, both. Action Editor. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll... Um, since we've got to repost this one anyway, I'll delete this bagpipe one. And that'll disappear later on. It doesn't actually delete it straight away, because it's still uh, got that link thing. Let's see. Take that thing off. And delete that one. Let's go back to the T pose. Control tab. Here, go. Let's click on that one again. And then go back to the T pose. Here. Okay, guys. Check this out. I have a feeling that we're uh, into uh, some 2.9 territory now of uh, interesting issues. Because I was I'm not really expecting all of this stuff to go on. Alt R, Alt G. Alt R, Alt G, Alt R, Alt G. And then uh, what I'll do here is I'll actually delete this one as well. And let's the T pose is nice enough uh, to do anyway. So let's create a new one here called T pose new. Do the this one. Control tab. Actually, I can copy this now and uh, do another one as well. Since that one has the pose, so I'll control C on the pose here. Do a new one as well and call it the uh, bag. Pipe pose. Control V to paste those bones there. Save it. Go back to the new T pose. And let's see now. We'll do Alt R. Uh, A to select all the bones. Alt R, Alt G. And here we go. That's the new T pose there. And now we'll have to see if this works because uh, I have a feeling that something in this is uh, quite corrupt. Oh, yeah, I need to keyframe this thing. So, I to inset, location, rotation. And here we go. Then we have to go back to the... See, now we've got the bagpipe playing here. And then we'll do I to inset this one, location, rotation. But I have a feeling now we still might be into some problems here. So, if I go back to uh, Epos, let's get rid of that one, play it. So that... This is so strange. Depot's new, we did. There. So that one's okay again, finally. Have we got uh, Tom Ten Sack? Yeah, he's carrying the bagpipe there. Sorry for this, guys. Takes some time sometimes to do these things. We've got the new T post, that's still working. Okay, is the bagpipe thing working now as well? And then I'll move on to the future stuff so we don't have to spend forever on this thing. Bagpipe, come on now. Yes, he's playing it. Okay, and let's just see if we can animate him play it as well. Okay, so uh, here we'll put a keyframe in maybe uh, here. And then now auto keying here. Hopefully we haven't brought... Let's make him play this like... There. Interesting to see that dotted line there as well. That concerns me a bit. Oh. He's gonna he's gonna really play this thing, I'll tell you that much. And then we'll just so that's the inhale. And he can even lift his arm up a little bit. But that that could move the bag a little bit, but let's move this arm. Move the collarbone back, that arm back, move this arm. Let's rotate this thing to there. Here we can just do slight rotation there, maybe. And in. There we go. So now we have... He breathes in, and then now he's going to do a, a, 
I guess they played for a long time, but he's going to blow it real hard and fast here. So let's rotate this one forward. This one forward. There we go. And then he can shake it. He blows so hard here that we'll, here we'll just put some uh, jitter, basically. Some fast jitter movement here. So he's like really. Ah, come on. Getting right bones here. So I'm just using the spine bones now. If I can find them <laughs> there. And then just do some really fast uh, movement here of the. I have no idea what this is going to look like. This is just my imagination now going like, uh, instead of just having a, an authentic, uh, since everything else is fake, let's just have him like really play the, th the thing out of this one. So, I have no idea. Let's have a look at what this looks like. So about 50 frames before we repeat. And then we can repeat this pose. Before we play it, let's even, let's assume this worked out really good now. <laughs> we put a new pose here. So he resets on frame 50. Control V on that post, so he's back to normal there. And then now let's just play it. This could go either way. Okay. And I think uh, I want it to be even faster because he's going to play this a lot faster. So scale. You can actually scale these keyframes as well, just like you can scale things up here. I'll move the mouse. It's important that the mouse hovers down here over these keyframes. And then I double click A to deselect everything, and then I click A again just to make sure everything's selected. S to scale it. 0 0.5 and that's compressed all the keyframes now down to so it's half uh, twice the speed just have to make sure the first one's on frame one here yeah and then here to zoom this is a bit uh, weird let's see can i even remember how to zoom not the alt key not the control key it used to be the middle mouse button yeah middle mouse button and drag right to zoom this it's a bit tricky i think everything else is like control select and alt select alex bonner <laughs> thanks yeah sa thanks for that super chat uh i appreciate it and 22 hours to go keep it up yeah i, I said uh, the day after i said uh, i'm never gonna do a 24 hour stream again and then uh, two hours later i said to my wife i said uh do you think maybe for 200k or like for a million if i ever reach that should i do a 24 hour anyway and her answer was uh, something along the lines, it'd be embarrassing if all you did was a 24 hour live stream because you already done that. So I have to do something else. So gamers level up again, thanks a lot. And thanks to Alex Bonner for the super chat and uh, thanks for uh, encouraging me to do uh, another 22 hours. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna, but saying that I might go over the time a little bit because uh, I've set it to three hours now, but time goes so fast and um, I want to keep you uh, locked up at your computers and get a bad posture for a little bit longer so you can do it. So. Let's see, uh, we had that, <laughs> okay. 48 hour stream, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that could not happen. I'd have to uh, inject coffee into my veins then in some weird way. Okay, a lot of talking again, sorry about that. So here we go, let's see. Let's play this one. Is, is he uh, gonna play this any better now that we've uh, done it twice as fast? Let's look, yeah, that's better. That's more the way I liked it or the way I wanted it, the way I envisioned it. And one thing more we could do is uh, he needs to put the hip into it. See, it, that looks too static. So let's actually bring the hip down. Let's get a, a decent pose here for, for bagpipe playing. So that's probably better. And then we can also rotate this one. And then we'll go to here. Again, put the hips into it. We'll move them back here. That's not going to work because he's going to fall over. One thing important, actually, that I do actually try to stick to is uh, when you animate, if if you were to move the pelvis back to here, he'd fall over. So that's something that your mind does expect. Either he'd have to step back here with a foot to, to capture that. Because it, it'll just... And I'm trying to speak like I'm some sort of an animator now. I have no clue about this, really. But one principle I know is that think about the center of gravity and the way the body is supported. So that's just a tip I'm relaying from someone who actually knows these things. So I can't just move him back here and think that's going to look all right. I have to, uh, what I could do though is if I wanted to animate the pelvis, so I could have him move slightly forward here so he could theoretically still hold the balance. I think the, the key thing here is uh, also what I learned is that the center of gravity 
of everything here, not just the pelvis point, but the center of gravity should not be past the toes. That, in that case, you'd expect him to fall over. But maybe I'd get away with that. Just that's borderline, probably. And we'll go to this keyframe here, where he's inhaled. I'll move him back slightly. And then we'll do here. We'll go forward again. So he, like, even dips down a little bit like that. So I'll try that. So Control-C. And then here, I'm actually seeing the keyframes. It's because I need to uh, shift and pan this thing with the middle mouse button. Go here, Control-V again. And here you can select everything here, Control-C. Go to the last one, Control-V. Control-V. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to move on to the next character now. We've got... Uh, can hide the armature here. Here we've got an issue. Okay, so the weight painting on this one is a bit problematic. As you can see, the legs is poking through there. So, uh, and that could be to do with the fact that we did uh, a lot of the... Um, when we did these checkered patterns here. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking in the microphone instead of the camera. So that's another thing. This turned out to be a trickier character. But let's uh, save this one first of all. It's still called Broken, but that's okay. So we need to uh, fix this one with weight painting a lot. So uh, w w what I didn't do actually, uh, and there's a good reason why this happened, is because I haven't reparented him to the object. I just copied the uh, the default character and then I, I just started modeling. So the weight of these uh, vertices here, we can actually go to weight painting. Let's do, we'll show the armature, select control tab, go into object mode, click this one, shift click this one, and then I'll disable this keyframe so I don't start recording all sorts of weird things. And then uh, we'll go here to weight paint. And if I shift shift click on this bone here and do uh, spine one, then we can see that the uh, when I extruded the this uh, kilt, then it or skirt like some would say, but kilt, and then uh, it gets the same weight as those vertices that I extruded. So that's uh, why there's a problem. We, we, uh, the the way to fix that one is uh, just we'll go back into object mode. We'll uh, go back into Have we messed things up again? Let's see. New. Control tab. Object mode. Control tab. I want to go here on this one. And oh, here we go. Bagpipe pose. Yeah, that's right. But here we'll sw switch it back now to uh, T pose and new. And then we'll go back into uh, control tab. And now I have to reparent this and do the have the auto uh, stuff going on again. So I'll uh, click the mesh. Shift click the armature, do control P, and then we'll do this one again and hope that the automatic weights here. So we'll do parent to uh, armature deform with automatic weights. Hopefully that should have fixed the kilt good enough now. G, see that it's actually bending a little bit better now with the legs. It's not perfect because you could, you could get into positions where that happens, but it is a bit tricky. So sometimes you get away with it and sometimes you need to add separate bones into the kilts here. But we want to keep the generic one here, so let's hope that this is uh, good enough now. Hey guys, can I ask you a question? Is that for me? Oh, guys, so that's plural. That wouldn't be me, I guess. Oh, let's see. Blowing up. I hear some footsteps now. I've missed something again. Um, okay. So that one's better. We can go back into uh, here now. Hello? No. Oh, thanks. I thought I'd done something stupid again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Coffee. Let's see. I've got a question here, I think, um, from Mustafa. Did you model all these characters with Infensia? I am Infensia. I'm not quite sure how you mean. So, let's see. We'll go back into uh, the bagpipe. And it's called Pose, so we can call that on animation. But now, hopefully, it's uh, a lot better now. The legs are not poking through. So, let's see. Yeah, call it. Thanks. Oh, nice to see you, Mia, as well. I didn't see you, spot you before. So, uh, welcome to the stream, Mia. Hope you're doing good. So, and everyone as well, you should uh, head to the Discord as well. I'm actually, uh, I feel terrible because I'm, I wish I could spend more time there. But lately, I've actually started to drop into the general chat a little bit more and the Infancia channel. And I do skim through, I, I read all the introductions. So, if you come there, 
please put a long introduction about yourself. Where are you from? What do you do? Why are you here? Why are you there? <laughs> and I, I love to read those. It's a really a lot of fun. And then uh, I try to scroll through all your show your creations as well. That seems to be a very, very popular one. And I don't have time to comment on all of them, but I scroll through it and look, and I'm impressed with uh, what I see you doing there. Actually puts me to shame a lot of the models that you do. So uh, I'll, um, I'll still try to scan my way through, uh, pretending like I know things <laughs> and do these things. And hopefully you'll find joy out of it somehow. All right. Uh, let's see, now, a Scots uh, man getting into a tricky situation with his kilt. Perfect, yeah. That's <laughs> he did it. So there we go. I hope, um, hope that's going to be all right. Let's uh, move on to the next character. So I spent one hour and 20 minutes on one character. I've got seven to go. Perfect. Okay, one thing. I want to just rename this uh, thing so it's following the... Let's see, we've got this one. I hope I'm not messing things up again now. I'm actually not even going to click on that animation. I'm going to click on him instead. Do Let's see, F2 here. Let's see, because I'll fix it after the stream in that case if I need to tidy this up. So uh, let's go back to the bagpipe here. Bagpipe pose, we'll rename that one. Control V and then do bag, ba uh, bagpiping. That's now a verb, bagpiping. Maybe it was to begin with. Next one will be T for you, I know, yeah. Oh, thanks. So that was actually my wife saying that one. T, nice. Let's see. Um, uh, would you make one of these models free? Uh, I've got uh, free models as well. Actually, I'll put a, a free model as well. So I'll have to put that somewhere. Let's see. I, I guess the default one could be free. Let's see. <laughs> Workflow seems to flow down a bit during Steve's Jarrow Stick says. <laughs> um, th thanks for being so kind. A bit. I think that's what I said uh, as well. If I'm going to stream, that's this is going to be a problem now because I, maybe I should stream the what's it called? The Ludum Dare thing? But imagine, I wouldn't have no output in the end. I'd just sit here and chat. And another thing is, um, when I edit my 10-minute builds, I usually cut away, it, like, the intro. I know it's too long to begin with, because people are saying that, just come on, get in with it, and get on with it. And then uh, I just uh, have to cut away, like, 10 minutes of talking. But in the live stream, that's a bit more problematic. I can't, and I don't seem to be able to shut up either. Okay. I hope your barbecue was good on Arvid. And I hope you get get to bed in good time because you seem to be having problems leaving the Discord. So I'll help you with that next time. I'll uh, uh, maybe I'll just uh, drop you off uh, <laughs> with something. All right, I'm gonna stop procrastinating now. We've done uh, one character, guys. So uh, let's uh, put the little shield icon there. This links a fake user to the animation clip, so you don't risk losing it. Hopefully, because uh, sometimes it's only linked in to the object or in the NLA editor and. Uh, you accidentally delete it, so it's a bit of a mystery, that one. All right, so that was requested by Fabian Neubert, and uh, we've got another one here. Now we're going to do a, a killer with an overall. Orange, I'll make it, and uh, it should have a pig mask and an axe. So child-friendly stuff just went out the window, and we're... Uh, it's 20 past 11 here, so I guess we'll get away with it. We can hide this uh, character, finally. That's done. Go back into UV editing. And we're not in auto keyframing anymore. Let's bring this one up and do shh. Okay, we've still got to, I have to switch the animation here as well to uh, the new T pose. I'll delete the old one later on as well. Go back to the armature. Some, some uh, fiddling around here between these things. I'm not going to bother up updating the top scroller. That just takes too long. So that's what actually at up a lot of minutes last time. So let's do uh, new that one. Hide this one, go back into UV editing and tab. Here we go. Shift D to duplicate him. Hide the default. And then the next one here. Didn't have a knife. Uh, are you in the chat now? Uh, we had Fikes. Fikes. P H A I X. There we go. I see you now. Uh, you, oh, you forgot what you requested in last stream. Not to worry. You requested an overall with a killer and a pig's mask and an axe. Maybe you said that above. But you also have to name him. So please put a name for him. You didn't. I don't think you put one. So that was a super chat that Fikes did last week. Appreciate it. So please put a name for this guy so I can name him appropriately. Meanwhile, I'll just... Uh, so I'm going to put an orange, like, overall on it. Would it be orange? It's like a convict's overall. And we'll make it baggier then. So in order to do that, 
See, I'm gonna try to keep my eyes open here now. To let's see, control one to see there, one to see the vertices, B to box. I, I keep select pressing B to box select, but actually you don't even have to press B. You can just drag select like this. Boom. Scale Shift Z, make that wider. One to get the vertices. G, move that one in. And make this wider as well. Scale X. And then control R loop cut here. Make it a bit baggier. Maybe like this. Let's see, have we got a name? Let's see, fights. Did you finish uh, last 24 hour character pack? No, th this is. Uh, <laughs> have I been live since then? I still wouldn't have finished it if I was live since then. A week live stream. So Alt Z. Uh, here I'm going to try something. This is a bit sketchy as well, but Alt E, we can try it at least. Extrude it and scale it. So we'll have some. Uh, hmm, that's probably no good actually, because uh, you can end up with some problems there. So I'll just scale this one out instead. I'll save some geometry as well. There we go. Control R just to scale that on. So we've got a bit of an overall thing going here. Maybe we'll have. Uh, gee, have we got a name for him yet? Let's see. Can't see it, so I'll just keep modeling in for now. <clears throat> Smooth that on out. Control R, loop cut here. Scale, Control R. I'll just do it like it's some sort of a. We can also switch off symmetry for this model to get it to uh, look a little bit more less, uh, more or less sub sim symmetric. Control R, loop cut. Scale. I wish I could follow along more with your chat. I want to join you chatting as well. I'm just trying to see the random thing. And I, I read uh, like a... My son who's 10, he actually reads better than me now already. So I have to figure out how to uh, improve on that. Okay. And again, we want to keep this at low poly look. But I'll, I will probably... This one, I'll slim down a little bit on the sides. Scale, uh, Y axis there. And then just do... Here we go. So we're going to do a pig's mask now. That could go uh, a strange, take a, a turn for the worse as well, I think. Still can't see a name from Fikes for this character, So, but we'll do the pig's face for now. Uh, pig's mask it is. So I'll do, uh, again, since we don't do any uh, warping to the head when we uh, when we move it, that's the way painted solid. So we can do Shift-D. And I'll make it detachable as well, or should I attach the pig's mask to his face? Let's keep him anonymous. So, or should we? I guess anyone could wear the face mask. Should we do it? Let's see. I'll do it separate first. Maybe I'll join it to the face. Oh. Can you do a vid on how to save rendered animation? Yeah, yeah I could do that actually. It's uh, some of the settings there in, in the render. Look for output there and set it to uh, MP4 or something. All right, so uh, Shift D, let's just try to get a, a pig's mask here now. And again, I'm doing, if you haven't caught on by now, I'm not doing, I'm not going for realism here. I'm doing, I'm doing uh, cartoony, silly looking stuff. So this is gonna be, uh, but I guess I could try to still make him a little bit scary if I could. Uh, okay, try that again. It's E to extrude that on, S to scale it. So for a pig's face, I guess we need to I to inset this one and B to get rid of the boundary. Um, bring it down to there, move it out. Okay, so a pig's thing, let's move it. Let's just wing it here. E to extrude that on. We have to change the color here. So the color maybe should be a bit here. Maybe that color. And then we have to add uh, pigs. Let's see here. We'll do S to scale that on now. Or no. Uh, we can do this one. We have to make it a little bit rounder, I guess. This is so weird to do in a live stream because uh, usually when you sit uh, and model on your own, or at least I, I say you, when I sit and model on my own, I'll do something so hideous that I hate it so much that I'll just delete it and I want to just curl up and cry and then start over. And now I have to try to uh, pretend that everything is uh, just <laughs> fine <laughs> so uh, that it's it's funny at the same time I don't mind I don't mind if it turns out 
the way it does. I to insert B to get the boundary thing back on. E to extrude it. And G to move it to like a dark red here. Let's see. I do that all the time in Venzia. Yeah. That's good when you tag my name because then I'll be able to spot them a little better. If it's something direct for me, please uh, tag it with at Infensia so I can see it. Uh, oh, Jim Engstrom, 20 kroner super chat here. This super chat is just to distract Infensia. Yeah. Like I need any more distractions, but thank you so much for that super chat. I appreciate it. All right, so, so War Tech here as well. Infensia, yeah, taking uh, you out of, con uh, out of your comfort zone is what we like to do. Great, that's uh, good. I need to... Some wise person said something uh, that I can't remember. <laughs> of. But it was something along the line with, uh, unless you get out of your comfort zone, you're never going to improve. Is that what it was? Probably totally wrong. But something along those lines. And here, we've got some more name tags here. Those are So the super chats are the most easy to spot. The super stickers I love, because then I don't have to read. Uh, I can just uh, see a, a nice sticker. And then uh, when you tag my name and do direct questions, I probably shouldn't have said that, but then I catch those a little bit easier as well here. So uh, we've got Merlin Wizard here. Infensia, sometimes deleting and starting from uh, new can help. I totally agree with that one as well. I do that a lot, um, but I just don't seem to do it in this stream. I just uh, push on like it, it was no problem. I mean, it's strange reason. Control. Let's see. We'll move this one in to fold it in. Um, we should have a, it, it is a, a person that does bad stuff to other per people. I have to try to stay monetized here. So what I'll do here is I'll, uh, let's do eye to inset. I'm going to try to get a, an evil eye going here. So try to get a, some sort of a shape here for the eyes. And let's just uh, break this topology big time here. What we want some... Maybe we'll do, let's see. If you want to slide uh, something along the face as well, we could uh, repair this. If we wanted this flat again, we could do select those. And remember, we could press flatten here with that tool. And here we could uh, select these as well and go flatten. But it, it does affect each other a little bit, but it helps a bit. So uh, here maybe we'll do, uh, let's see, we wanted to... Uh, I'm actually not happy with that at all. So instead of deleting it and starting over, I'm going to cancel back as far as I can get, if I can, hopefully. Okay, the history, it wasn't quite enough, but this one we'll get rid of. We'll get rid of these X to delete these, uh, dissolve those edges. And then we'll do, uh, let's see. Let's just keep it like that. And uh, we can uh, make these maybe. Let's just E to extrude that on. See what it looks like. It doesn't look evil at all. E to move it. Okay. But we'll do it uh, dark as well, because you can't really see in there. So, pig's masks coming along here. Should it have um, pig's ears as well? No. It's just one of those cheap face masks that you put. Uh, it's not like a full head thing. Oh, we've got uh, Jaro sticks here as well. You'll level up your multitasking skills for long. I think, uh, thanks for the super chat, my friend, uh, Jaro sticks. I'm uh, doubting that I'll ever level up my multitasking skills, uh, but I had, did have a friend, or I do still have a friend. I just haven't spoke to him in about 10 years, but he proved that guys can actually multitask. And this is a true story. He drove a car, texted, and crashed at the same time. So, you see, we can multitask. Let's see. Uh, that's it. That's going to be the face mask. So we'll just attach it here to the head as well. With a string, I guess. We can uh, cheat a little bit here. And then do, uh, we'll just collar this into like a strap there. Sort it. And he needed uh, an axe as well. So let's put an axe in his hand. Some baggy pipes there. Let's see. Whoa, lol. A lot of lols here. Was that about uh, the fact that this is looking terrible now? Any one of the characters can wear this mask. <laughs> That's right. That's right, so only this guy will have the strap. That'll look a bit strange then, I guess. But this mask is actually if... Should we... Okay, you, you've said it now, um, Draco, so let's make that happen. Let's take away that on. Anyone should be able to wear this mask. I totally agree, no. Okay, I've done that. Sometimes I press two here when I'm in object mode and I'm hiding this collection. 
We should uh, tab into edit mode again. Move this one out. We have to make anyone be able to wear this mask. I totally agree. So we'll just have it like this. Control S to save it. Sometimes you should save. Let's see. We've got some more stuff here. Uh, Fikes, say in fans, you shouldn't name uh, Piggy the friendly. Okay, that's it. That's his name now. Thanks for the name there. You uh, you you uh, super chatted this one. So this is Piggy the friendly. Friendly. There we go. And then Jaro, whoa, that's talent, yeah. Was he listening to music at the same time? No, I don't think we want to go that uh, far. Maybe he did, actually. So, uh, you shouldn't text and drive, by the way. I have to say that as well, to make sure. You shouldn't uh, even drive sometimes. The Go Palam uh, Kylan suggests some add-ons for Blender. Okay, I only go for the default add-ons. So, I suggest Loop Tools, Auto Mirror, Rigify, and uh, F2 and uh, additional meshes. So those are the ones I recommend. So that's it. Now we can uh, disconnect this uh, mask from his head then since other people are gonna be able to use it. So L, P, selection, and now it's a separate object. So so we know which character it, uh, it's for. We'll keep the prefix here of Piggy the Friendly and then we'll just put mask here, mask. And then uh, since uh, the head doesn't have a strap anymore. We should model a strap that fits this head, sort of. So uh, in order to do that, we could... Uh, we need to get a strap coming out here from the side. So we need a little bit of geometry there for that. We could do... Uh, here. Let's do... Uh, we need... Let's see. We could just extrude this whole thing slightly. We'll move it in. Need to extrude that on. Just to scale it. Move it back. Top view as well. Maybe rotate a little bit to move it that's it and then now we can extrude this thing that face there i'll do gg to move this one up to here no i won't do that and control r it doesn't really matter if we add a little bit more geometry here we could even use that to change the shape a little bit here e to extrude s to scale then we can to flatten this one now i wanted to go straight back so we'll do scale y zero that flattens it on the y-axis. And then I do E to extrude. And then here we do uh, E to extrude again, move it in, R to rotate, z-axis. And then here, I'm gonna delete the interface here. There. And then select all of these edges. Uh, so two to get to edge select, alt, shift select that one, and then just bring them in. And then we need to just fix this here like this, but we need to rotate this one too to get the angle. So this one will fit, any fit anyone that's got the default head, but we should also do uh, color this strap. So there we go. Now we can actually try it as well. So we've got the face mask there, leather strap on the back. We've got uh, some stuff going on here. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, he keeps the f <laughs> constant inhaling. That did turn out slightly tricky in the end. You'll run out of the air on that one so control s now we can try it so if we show uh, let's see let's hide him and then put uh, margarita so that one won't work because she's got the cap welded to her head but we've got uh, ape lincoln he could wear it yeah it's under his hair then and uh, his the strap is in the head that's fine we've got uh, me in Fenzia. That's a problem because I've extruded my face a little bit. So that one you'd have to reposition. You can still use it. You just have to, uh, in a game engine, you just uh, reposition the uh, mesh a little bit on, on the head and it's going to be parented to the head. We've got uh, Neo. There we go. Neo with a pig mask. So that works. Tompton. Looks a bit strange. It looks normal. So Ross Robert. That won't work because he's got a helmet. But we're uh, getting there. So. Uh, we've got the access to, oh, we've got the Scotsman there as well. So let's bring back, uh, where am I? Here, Piggy. So uh, Gamer Ben here, petition to say E to extrude S to scale for 24 hours, just saying it. So I have actually watched Mr. Beast's video where he says he counts to 100,000. And in one video he said PewDiePie 100,000 times as well. I think that's absolutely insane. And I'm terrified to, to do something like that myself, which is... I'll just leave it like that. 
let's see, uh, make a vid on how to save a rendered animation. I think the quickest way to do that one is to Google it, but I can uh, probably cover it at some point. All right, so gamers level up. That's my wife is going to say something. Now, now that would be a side driving down the highway watching Infensi on the live stream. That would make anyone go off the road, so don't do it. And then we've got Alex. Thank you, Infensia, for all your tutorials and your effort. You helped me a lot over time. You're awesome. Thank you. Nice to hear. So you're awesome for saying that. Uh, we've got Goplam again. It's repeating. Be careful with the spamming there. I've answered that question too many times now, Goplam. So uh, let's see. Mia PC. Thank you so much for the super chat. And uh, apparently it wasn't even for me. That was for gamers level up. You need a salary for bringing the drinks. Thanks, Mia, for the super chat to my wife. That's super nice of you. Much appreciated. So, uh, let's see. Okay. You forgot to update the banner with the, uh, the latest character. I know I did, uh, Mr. Tom uh, I, I, I That takes a little, a, a little time to do as well for the banner. And uh, that actually, I think, at up probably nearly an hour of my time in the 24-hour stream. So, I'll probably leave that for now. And... Uh, the RTS game is going great, thanks. We're doing some playtesting there. And we've got uh, another one directed to me here as well. So again, tag it with my name if you definitely want me to catch it. I'll do it. Today we implemented PvP systems for our game in Fancy. Great. Good. Nice to hear that. That was kill on site game development. All right. So now we're uh, axe. He's going to have an axe in his hand. So have we got... Uh, this one was requested by Fikes. Yeah. What type of axe is it? I'm going to just put uh, a utility axe in his hand for now. Let me know if you wanted something else. I'll actually do this one from scratch. I'll do shift A, cube, tab, scale. Shh, okay, and then uh, we'll tab out of Ed mode, move it up to here. And then here's a good one as well for you. If you haven't seen this one before, keep this object selected. Shift select the other object that has the uh, texture, control L, and do uh, make links to the material. And then you automatically get the material onto this cube. You don't have to go to the shading tab. So it's a lot faster to do that if you don't have to talk your way through it. So uh, our dev stuff, uh, hit me up in the Discord. It might be sooner than you think. So uh, contact me in the Discord, mate. And uh, Fikes, as you like, he just needs someone. <laughs> he needs to kill someone with it. Oh, is that going to be the... Uh, do you want an animation for that as well then? Let's make a wood handle. Tab here. Tab scale down to there. And L, scale, Y. This song is epic. I'll check which one it is. Okay, it just finished. Uh, that was Formant X. Well, let's have a look. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear it. I'm going to blame you uh, all for uh, making me uh, progress so slow because uh, you're asking funny questions and having a good time. So I'm going to blame all of you for the slow progression of this. Let's see. This is not the song you wanted. It was this one, right? Nope, it was the next one. This one's good too, though. So it's uh, Formant X Stellar f uh, Finale. 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 I can't even speak. So uh, I get my uh, music. Uh, some of these tracks are my own. That's obviously not the one you liked. So, uh, but that's okay. But uh, I get my music from Epidemic Sound as well. Not sponsored by them. I pay my uh, fees to uh, get a subscription there. So, so thanks. Okay. I should take these off again because they'll distract me. This is a good song, though. Axe. Eat to extrude. This is going to be simple. I to inset. E to extrude. Uh, control plus. Let's make this one uh, gray as a base here. And then I'll just make something like this. I'll go to the side view. Scale it down. Move it up. E to extrude. S to scale. R to rotate. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. I have no idea what type of axe this is, but we should also make it a bit thinner. So I'll do control plus to there. And then uh, if we, let's see, if we wanted to make this uh, evenly sized now, which I actually don't because I want to narrow it off here. So control plus scale X, make it narrower. And then here, I'm going to make it super sharp, uh, infinitely sharp. So I'm going to do scale X zero and I've got this thing enabled up here which is uh, auto merge vertices and by doing that then it's actually taken away those uh, vertices because they're so close to each other now they're infinitely close so it removed it and uh, that's nice you don't have double vertices pick these 
and then go uh, like as white as we can on that one to make it looking sharp. And then we should uh, put some shape into this handle as well. So I'll control loop cut it a few times so I can get some geometry to work with, maybe like this. We need to fix that back of him as well. And go side view, scale that one up. Bar to rotate. Scale. He maybe pick this uh, off the wall somewhere on a. It's either. A, I don't even know what type of axe. What would you chop with this? Probably other uh, low poly characters, I guess. I think that should be it. He took extrude S to scale. <clears throat> That's it. And then we'll put it in his hand. And we should move the origin, maybe. So, in order to do that, we could do... Uh, one way to do it is to uh, go into edit mode. Go into face select, alt select this one for loop. And then we do shift S cursor to selected. And then tab out of it, right click and do set origin. Origin to a 3D cursor. And now we've got the origin of this object here. Let's put that in his hand like that. And then... Uh, Let's see, uh, <clears throat> what is, uh, BYM Espanol, uh, where can I get your models, you're asking? And uh, this one, check out the description, because you can, this one you can, you can pre-order, because I'm going to update it tomorrow and send it out to anyone who has. So it's $24, it was to represent uh, $1 an hour for the 24 hour, live, 24 hour live stream that I did last Saturday. So I did uh, 19 characters then, I've done two so far today. And I'm going to keep doing it. i got another six to do. So whoever uh, pre-purchases that package, you can get it. So, And then if you buy that package, you support me by doing it. And you can also use these characters in uh, games or whatever you want. For, uh, if you want to make games with them. Not, you can't sell them, but you can make games with them. And make money on it if you want. If anyone would play the game. So uh, let's see. Uh, that's it. We've got uh, Search for Infants. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm on Spotify, yeah, you can check it out. I need some more Spotify plays, so please search for my music on Spotify. Search for Infensia and play it if you want to hear it. So, let's see. <clears throat> I have some stuff on SoundCloud, but not so much. Spotify is the best one. Oh, or uh, you can download all my music on my Patreon. I think even the, the lowest tier there, the $1 tier, you can download all my albums. Or was it the $2 tier? I can't remember. So... That's an option. But if you want to do be modern and stream it for free on Spotify, you can do that. I need the place there, so that'll be good. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to... Uh, uh, so, uh, oh, yeah, on itch. That's a good idea. So I should add... Uh, uh, so what should I add on itch? Should I add uh, this character pack on itch? I can do that for sure. So uh, does that make you be able to pay with um, PayPal? That's great. I should also add PayPal to my site because I know that's a problem for some of that. So, oh, that's right, our dev stuff. Infensia, you should make a video tutorial on how to use these character in a Unity game. And you're asking the right person, because I love doing Unity stuff. And this would definitely be something I should do a video on, where I take these character, how to import them, and how to set up the animation machines, state machines, how to get them to walk. I haven't even done the walk cycle yet, but that'll, that'll come. So good idea, our dev. I just have to remember that somehow. Uh, wife, could you uh, make a note no, uh, a note for me, please? Gamers, level up there, just to uh, to do that. So, uh, actually, write two things. So, I'm um, just a mental reminder here. Maybe I'll re-watch this stream myself to just remember it. So, I'm going to do PayPal on my normal site. I'm going to add, so it's not just uh, the Stripe card thing. I'm going to add my models and some other stuff to itch.io, so you can buy with, buy with PayPal there. And I'm going to do a Unity video on importing these characters into Unity, as Ardev suggested. So, great ideas, guys. I should read these comments more often. So, uh, so many good ideas here. Um, Lilith, have you ever worked with Unreal Engine? I sell some assets in their uh, marketplace, but I haven't used it enough. But now that I've learned Bolt and the visual uh, scripting, I'm actually going to... I'm actually definitely... Can you say that? going to look at uh, Blueprints again in... Uh, uh, Unreal Engine, so that's right. So Andreas Brillen as well here is also uh, suggesting my uh, gamers level up to make some notes here. That would be cool. So cool for all these ideas noted. All three, sorry, can't even read. That's okay. I'm okay though. Here we go. So uh, quarter to midnight. I hope you're having a good time so far. I'm having a great time. So, thanks for watching again. Um, now we do bikes did uh, should i just do a, i'll just do a simple animation for this one so let's go uh 
Control S to save it. Go into the animation tab. Oh, we have to child this thing now. First of all, we need to. Uh, so if we were to play an animation, hopefully we have still haven't broken. Remember, we had some issues with this. Got these things that's popping up as well. It's a bit scary. Oh, well, let's see. We'll do the sword thing here. Show the armature. Let's go uh, swords. I just want to see here that we've got there. Yeah, that one's there. The mask is following along, and the reason why that is happening. Let's see. Object constraints here. So we've got uh, a problem here with the. Uh, we not don't have a problem, but we yeah we have a problem. We need to fix it. So the reason why the mask is following along, it's not because it's um, ch a child of the head. It's because uh, it's actually still got the uh, modifier on it. So we need to get rid of this armature modifier, but then it'll snap back. And we'll go back into the T-Pose new here. Okay, if I have this one selected, we'll go to T-Pose new. And now we need to make this a child again. So I have to go to the constraints tab here. Add constraint, child of, armature. And then we'll put head here. And now we should... F okay, I have to press set inverse as well to reset the location back to where it's meant to be. And now hopefully it should still follow on the animation. So we'll go back to uh, select the armature. Go here and do Rusty Roberts sourcing. And then play. And now it's following again. But this is the better way to do it. Because if you import this character now into game engine, like Unity or Unreal, then what you could do is you just take the pig's mask and you parent it to the head bone in the hierarchy, which I'll do in the uh, tutorial that I'm going to make then. And then it'll follow along. And since we're not distorting the head when we're moving it, uh, the weight paint is 100% all vertices on the head. So the mask will uh, be safe that way. And the mask is not going to move or do anything stupid either. So again, back to the T-pose. This one we have to do the same with, object constraint, child of, armature here, and the bone will pick uh, hand.r, and then set inverse. And now that should work as well, if we go with, to any animation here now, we'll do, uh, let's see, anyone that wields something, we had, uh, again, Robert, this animation might not work, because it's a two-handed animation, but we can check it. I have to pick the armature first. Rusty Robert sourcing. So, I mean, that could be used. He's got one problem. It's that he swings the axe as if it was... Uh, as he, <laughs> he needs to read the manual for this axe because uh, that's not going to work. But in order for it to work, we can fix it. It's always a fix. The fix for this is to rotate it on the x-axis or y-axis. And we did that without keyframing it. So when that is, then the swing will actually work here. So I'm just going to keep... Uh, he's not going to get a dedicated swing. He can definitely use Rusty Roberts' swing to, to knock some other low-poly characters out. So that's it. You can add it later on. Let's uh, see here. we got some more stuff going on here. So uh, cool ideas noted. That's cool. Uh, uh, Blender or Maya? I'd say Blender because it's free. And uh, I, th I like it. But Maya is great, obviously. So we got to uh, make a futuristic sick city that could be fun right uh, dunkle aura what's the difference uh, for usage fees compared to small and indie developers for unreal unity oh yeah it's uh, i probably have to cover that on a separate topic but the the short gist of it is that unreal if you make more than a hundred thousand dollars i think then you pay royalty on the games but anything under a hundred thousand dollars of profit then you don't have to pay anything for it i think that's correct for Unity, you can use the free version and there's never any royalty or anything like that. You can make as much as you want on that game without having to pay anything, as far as I know, but double check it. I think that's the way it is. And then you can pay for Pro and uh, Plus and Pro versions of Unity. I've got Plus, I think, nowadays. I used to have Pro, but I don't need the Pro one anymore. So that's it. But check it out for sure. Uh, rec uh, Rekt, you're saying that my streams... Let's see. Yeah, Infancia, your streams are fun. That's good to hear. Nice to have you here. So, uh, me, a PC, Infancia, having an awesome time. Did I actually ask if you have a good time? I think I did, because a lot of people uh, probably just wouldn't randomly say this. But thanks for, <laughs> for following up. Blueprints are fun. Yeah, I want to have a look at that. So, uh, we've got some more tags on my name here. So, Gamer Ben, how do you color your model that easily with a U uh, UV? Again, check my uh, low poly, learn low poly modeling video. That's one and a half hours of me going on about it. So, check that one out. I think that's the best way to learn it. So let's see. And 
Vehem, uh, Vehemenet or something. Sorry for your name there. Uh, not sorry for your name. Sorry for not being able to say it. That's what I meant to say. So let's see. Um, may I have uh, may have been asked that before at some point, but do you know any way to preserve, replicate the Blender cavity shading in import into Unity? I don't yet, but uh, Mia PC actually suggested a tip to me to try it in. Uh, she wrote down some really cool instructions as well, so I'm going to try it in on Real Engine. I haven't been able to do it just yet, but if I can work, you get it to work there. I should be able to also find a way to uh, copy that workflow in Unity, hopefully. So I'll have a look at it, but. It probably won't be exactly the same. You can get the, the highlight edges, as far as I could see. With uh, these edges, you can get. And uh, But the uh, the shade, the other part, let's see. It's the, uh, see, the world one is a little bit more difficult to get. But this one, the uh, screen one, is a little bit easier to get, to get the wireframe shadiness, I think. But to, uh, this one rep is more like uh, ambient occlusion. Thing where it shades it yeah, quite a lot, so but I'll uh, check into it and get back to you. Uh, Lilith, uh, you got it for Unreal royalties, perfect, that's good. Uh, let's see, they changed it some weeks to a million. Wow, okay, oh, did they? Wow, well, Epic is making a whole lot of money on uh, Fortnite, so I think uh, they did something absolutely crazy not too long, oh, well, a couple of years ago. When Fortnite became big, because I think that's a cash cow for them, like nothing else. And I sell some stuff in the Unreal Engine marketplace. And suddenly, after I've been there for two, three years selling sound effects packs and space boxes, and they came out, usually you get 70% cut if you sell models there, or sell assets. And that's the same as Unity. But then Unreal Engine said, uh, we're going to give all the creators, I think it's 83% now. So that's uh, like a 13% different, or 82%. And then did that retroactively. So whatever I'd managed to sell for the past three years, they actually retroactively just paid out the difference there. So I thought, uh, I think they're just making a lot of money on that. And uh, it's good. Uh, I think they're doing a lot of good stuff. Uh, so I'm impressed by that. Uh, Blitz, uh, uh, let's see, Blitz IEU. Hey, Infancia, good to see you screaming again. Good to see you. Thanks. Let's see. All right, so Unity is free till 100K rev per year. Oh, I didn't realize they had that cap as well. So it's just that I never made that much on the game, so I don't, I haven't worried. But that's uh, good that you mentioned that. So, but again, check it out to, to make sure. So let's see, uh, low poly video there. Yeah, thanks for that one. So uh, Lilith, Infancia, how do you rig models to the epic skeleton? Uh, okay, so is it the epic skeleton in uh, Unreal Engine? In, in that case, I don't know yet. So, but what I should do for this guy. Is, uh, we should uh, move, uh, since it's a two-handed thing, I'll move this one. Let's see, we can actually do it on the fly here, I think, to make it match. So, G to move it. I'm not keyframing this because I want to change the actual position of this axe. So, here we go. And now that should work a little bit better. So, that's it. We're going to leave it like that. And the key f here, I've added geometry, so I actually need to reparent him to the mesh. That's the final thing we're going to do for this character. So, I'll go to T-Pose, New. Well, I always forget. I need to select the armature first. Go to T pose new. T pose so always makes me think of having a cup of tea because tea pose in Swedish is tea bag. So, but T pose is not tea pose. So, uh, that's a hint to my wife, by the way. My coffee is. I was gonna say it's running out, but it's not running out. It's running cold. And uh, that sounded really bad. It sounded like I'm demanding something. I'm not. I'm really happy with this. So, thanks. <laughs> I'll dig in the hole even deeper now. The, a few times last stream, my wife pointed out to, that I said some really stupid stuff, and I, I'm just naive. I, I apparently said that I... Here's the one. Okay, I'm going to confess now. I'm going to step up to the fleet, and I'm going to make a confession now. So listen out, gamers level up as well. Uh, you're actually the one who pointed this one out. I said that I used the... First of all, I said that I used the new washing machine once. So the old washing machines, uh, in all fairness, I used quite a bit. Back in the day but we've replaced this one maybe a year ago because the other ones broke and i've only used the new one once because uh, and i have got no excuse to that but then i said i actually repaired the washing machines so i tried to recover some uh, dignity there and uh, my wife reminded me the next day after the stream that uh, i didn't actually repair it apparently i only called the repair guy out hmm. so fi go figure so we're gonna see uh i think that was pretty good though of me I called him. I had to dig out the paper of the uh, um, 
it was uh, quite tricky to dig through my mail ba uh, basket to <laughs> to figure out uh, what where the receipt was and uh, trying to figure out a reference number. So oh, I did pretty good. <laughs> okay, wow. So best low poly modeling ever. <laughs> low poly modeler. <laughs> it's just the most chatty one anyway. Make a Discord. I've got a Discord. Check out my other uh, <laughs> videos for that link. So that's it. Okay. Ha! Ah, wow. Where was I? Oh yeah, I needed to fix this. Where was I or where were I? I don't know. Can you, someone just correct me in there? I don't know. Where were I? Where was I? Hmm, okay. Epic tier repair skills. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mad repair skills with that one. Making a phone call. Hey, that's big for me. Merlin, nice job in Fencia. Thank you, Merlin. Appreciate it. So, this is, I'm trying to do this now. Click the mesh here, shift click the armature. I can't look uh, there and do that one. And then uh, control P and then redo this one with automatic weights. Hopefully, the weights will look a little bit better now. Got the deformation here. Got the arms. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. And the head should be alright still. Yeah, we're good. Good to go. So that's it. Let's do tab, control S to save him, and we can hide the... Oh yeah, I need to rename the axe here. So here's the axe. Control tab, object mode. See here. Where was I? Thank you. But you say, if I were to do this, right? You don't say, if I was to do this, then that. I, I keep saying... It feels like I'm supposed to say if I were to do this. So, uh, Wrecked, please correct me on that one too. You got the wrench in your hand there, being a mod and everything. So, it's your job now to correct me. You're Canadian, so it's sort of your na native language, I think. Hip shot Henry, yeah. <laughs> hey, Dan. Vadi uh, Vadin. It's going good, I think. Uh, people are seem, seem to have a good time. So, yes, if I were. E uh, yeah, that's right. So cool. If I were to do this, then I'm doing it the right way. Great. Okay. And then I'm gonna... My wife is English as well. She's uh, from England and it always uh, made me laugh because uh, she pl put a plural S on you. So what are you doing? No, she's not saying that anymore. But she's from Liverpool. So now I uh, I di diverted some uh, some fire, fire here onto her. I'm gonna get... Uh, I'm gonna regret that as well. Okay. F2 on this one. Piggy the friendly. F2 on this one. And then do axe. And this is a, a woodworker's axe, by the way, so don't demonetize me. This is what you chop down trees with and do nothing else with it. Apart from what he's going to do with it. Could be a bit shady. There we go. Hide it. Hide it and hide it. And now we're going to move on to the next character, guys. So. <laughs> listen, use. <laughs> I'm just waiting for her to pop her head around the corner now and say, listen, use. <laughs> use too. Okay, that's done, Fikes. Hope you're okay with that one. So we're going to move on to the next one. And that was Sam Barr requested uh, a male druid with amber eyes and a pet golden eagle. Let's see. <laughs> My wife is uh, lolling, rolling, uh, ruffling, ruffling. <laughs> She's ruffling up there, rolling around, laughing. Let's see. So, uh, what's a, a druid? Is that a droid? A druid is not a droid. So, erase that. A druid is uh, something totally different. This is going to be uh, okay. What is it, even a druid here? It's, um, it's a forest creature. If you want to try to figure out what I'm uh, doing here. I'm, I'm just looking at uh, forest creatures, druids. So what was the request? A, a male druid with amber eyes. Is that yellow? Like uh, the amber lights of a, uh, let's see, amber. That's like an orange, isn't it? Like an orange yellow, yeah. Okay, uh, so what else do we have? Tiro was gonna be the name. And a pet golden eagle. Wow, thanks for that request. I just started running here. So let's see, Dante. If I if I was sick, is the high chance that 
I was actually sick. If I were sick, I'm not actually sick, but I'm talking. Ah, that's a good one. Thanks, Dante. Appreciate that. So I, I said like half the words there. And this is not an English lesson, but if I was sick, there's a high chance that I was actually sick. If I were sick, uh, it's actually uh, that I'm not sick, but I'm talking about how it would be if I was. So if I were to do this, then I'd be saying it the right way. If I was doing this, then I'm actually doing it. Or I did do it. Great. Thanks. So that's uh, another thing. Low poly modeling. Uh, a lot of uh, stuff that I talk about that no one has uh, probably that much interest in. It. And some English lessons there from a Swede. Okay, this is going downhill. Uh, so a male druid, that's a forest uh, person with amber eyes and a pet golden eagle. I've said that enough times now to remember it. So, default character. Move here. I don't have auto keyframing on. Shift D. And the name for this one is going to be Tiro. Can you get, make a game in one day? I've done uh, many games in two days, in 48 hours. Check out my uh, itch.io Infensia page. I've got uh, quite a few one day. Uh, I've I, I can do one in one day too, for sure. It'd just be half as good as the one I do in two days. <laughs> okay. So, a male druid. Okay, I have to look now. They've got... Uh, I just have to look a little bit more at uh, references here, so I'm uh, scrolling through male druids. And there seem to be uh, big ones, mostly ones, there seem to be skinny ones. Okay, my wife is coming down now, I've said something stupid again. What did I do wrong? <laughs> no, maybe she's just coming down too. What? The tea, <laughs> tea, and Thank then uh, Mia suggested some salt. Oh, salt so, yeah. <laughs> in the tea. Why would that? The comment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that went above my head. <laughs> I'm in trouble in fancy. Yeah, no, I think I got away with it. I got a cup of tea on it. So, yeah, post it. That's great. Let's see. Uh, how do you select a color from a palette? Uh, I'll, I'll come to that in a second then. I'll do it again. Uh, what's your accent? Um, well, I'm Swedish, so I speak uh, with a Swedish accent, I guess. But I've lost a little bit. I lived in the US for a year, so I got a little bit of a US accent back then. And then I moved to England for four years, so I lived there for four years. And that totally wrecked my accent, so I'm, I've got a weird mix now. So I'm going to do uh, the palette thing, yes. Uh, uh, try not to spam there. Let's see. All right. I'm, ba I'm back onto this now. So the male druid, I'm going to go for uh, something with, uh, it's got like some uh, bare body here. It's got some, uh, like a, a skin over the head. Okay, I think I've got it now. So let's do it. Hide the armature. We'll do, uh, put everything as uh, this color. So now uh, I'll show you now. Someone's been asking so much uh, Senti Gossage, something, uh, I've asked about the coloring. And in the shading here, for the material that I'm using, I've dragged a PNG file, a palette, into here just, and then I've connected color to a base color. And that's all I've done with the material. And then in the UV editing, uh, when I've unwrapped this one, I've just unwrapped it so it actually shrinks down to... Uh, what I could do is... Uh, here, I'll do it for this whole character here. So, Tiro here. I'll do UV reset. And see, it looks like uh, some weird uh, test picture now. But it's because all the polygons here have the same layout on this uh, UV texture, if I scroll this. So, on the left here now, I press S to scale these and 0 down to 0. And by doing that, I can move this little dot now with a G, and I can put it anywhere on this texture, and the character will become that texture. So he's kind of having... I'm just looking at a reference picture, it looks a little bit like that. Uh, the, the tone. So there is uh, one thing to be particularly aware of when you do this, and that's because uh, not all game engines, for example, Unreal or Unity, doesn't. they don't really like when you scale down the UV like this, and one of the biggest reasons for that is uh, that uh, yeah, it needs for shadow mapping, objects need uh, a UV layout. 
In Unity, it's not much of a problem because you can tick a little tick box when you import it there, the model, and it'll say generate UV mapping or UV set for shadow, shadow maps. And that's all you need to do. You need to tick that little box and UV, uh, Unity takes care of it. For, uh, for it to work in Unreal Engine, what you'd need to do is go here to this uh, little uh, data properties or objects data properties that looks like a, a upside down Illuminati icon. And then for this one, you need to go here to UV maps. I'll just save this one. I'll do it once actually, so everyone can see it. This is how you should do it for Unreal Engine, I think. You do plus here to add another set of UVs. And now click A to map everything and then go to UV, and then Smart UV Project you could do. Okay. And you could actually pack it tighter, but the, this was just, you can change the angle limits here. So uh, you could actually change it so that it, it uh, let's do angle limit uh, only 20, maybe. Or is that which way, I keep forgetting, let's see. Smart UV Project 20, yeah. Then it distributes this uh, character all over here, so now no, You'd also need to apply the mirror modifier first before you do this. Otherwise, uh, the shadow maps would still reuse, so the left arm would use the right arm. So you'd need to apply the mirror modifier and then do what I just did with the UVs on the second UV map here. And then the first one is still used for color. And that should work in Unreal Engine then. So but let's get rid of that. We don't need to do that anymore. Let's have a look. Have we got some more chat comments here? So we got some stuff here. I had this issue with importing unreal yeah so that seems to be a common thing and now you know how to fix it so all right i think the rest was not for me so it's if someone uh, let's see does allow import without unwrapping properly okay so in uh maybe it, unless uh, another thing then could be not to scale it to zero necessarily this could be a thing as well Go to UV, reset it, and instead of, instead of scaling to zero, you could scale it to 0 0.01 and make it just small. Uh, since I'm using a gradient texture here, this is a little bit too big still because it'll shift the color. You can see that it goes from uh, light to dark to light to dark. So you need to go on this texture, you need to go even smaller, but you don't have to go all the way down to zero, but you can make it really tiny at least so that it's not that apparent. And another good thing with this, uh, I'll, I'll show you this now actually as well. Let's say you wanted to make it so it fades from uh, like a brighter color all the way down to dark. Here's a good thing to do as well. Then there's another trick here. So press 1 to go to, or control 1 I do, to, to look at this character from the front. Press A to select all the uh, faces. You're in object mode now, remember, so you've tabbed into object mode. Go to UV, and then here, go, uh, if I remember it now, so project from view. And now you can see the characters are represented here. Then we can scale it down to here. And then G to move it. And then we can get the use out of this gradient texture. It's not good for this character because no one would look like that. But sometimes it looks quite nice for trees, for example, or stones that you shade it from like a, a brighter gray to a darker gray. So it's quite a neat trick to fade the whole model this way. There's a whole of other useful stuff that I, I should do a video on UV mapping. All right, let's go. Uh, so we got, uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty much caught up on the comments here and everything, so. Um, let's continue. Control Z back to where we were. So I just want to bring the color back to there. And now we're going to make the druid. So the eye here, we can make color black. So I'm going to go for, okay, I missed apparently a face there. So let's do A, select everything again, and it's this face here that seems to be a problem. So scale, zero, G, that should be good enough. Back to modeling, yeah, me a PC, that's right, finally, back to modeling. We're only in the third character now, and I've gone on for two hours. So I'm not going to apologize for it though. <laughs> See, still doing pretty good, 270 viewers. I wonder if it's, uh, I wonder how many of the same uh, are here from last Saturday. It's a good sign that it's not a lot fewer anyway. Itchy nose. All right. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna put some uh, like leg muffs on him here. He's gotta be barefoot, believe it or not. So we can make these a little bit flatter. 
And then I'm gonna put some uh, like leg things on him here. Leg warmers. I'm looking at a reference here, so maybe you can uh, figure out which one I'm looking at. I searched for Druid male, and uh, your task now is to guess which uh, I which picture I found that I'm looking at. I'm not gonna give it away. I to inset. I to inset. I to, oh not the I to inset and I to inset again. I'm gonna loop select these. Scale. Okay, I'll do them one at a time here. Scale. 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 And then we'll do control plus to grow that selection. I'm gonna do it first white. Control minus to here. So this is fluffy stuff, like a uh, fake fur. No, it's real fur. So there. I don't think they uh, back in the day of druids. Is that in the past or is that now? Let's see. Uh, do you release this gradient texture for download? Yeah, I think I've put it, hopefully, in uh, some of my other videos' uh, links. If not, I should do it. So. Dan, good that you were here for the 24-hour stream. Cool. It completely ruined my sleeping pattern. I was late for work on Monday. But I hope you told your work mates. I was saying that hopefully this creates ripples on the water now. Someone will go to work and say, when they asked uh, at the coffee table, they say, what did you do last weekend? And someone would say, like, I watched uh, a guy trying to stream for 24 hours making low poly models. But I guess most people wouldn't dare to say that if they went to work. But if you did, thanks. Okay. Control plus, scale, shift Z. Okay, I need to bring this uh, kneecap in a little bit. So control R. I want to scale that on. But I want to scale everything else here. So, control minus, scale, shift Z, and then that's it. Okay, now we're gonna put uh, a thing on his chest here. He's gonna be like semi naked, but he's gonna have stuff to cover the vitals. So, but here I'm gonna put like a a, a wolf skin. So just to there, and then I'll do, uh, let's see, that should do, so I'll do Alt E to extrude long face normals, Control plus, and that's going to be that color, or even brighter. <clears throat> Again, everyone should give uh, a round of applause to Draco Sokard, not only because uh, he's a great supporter of this channel, and uh, now a moderator, and also a, a patron, thank you very much. But you stayed up for, uh, I can't remember. I, every time I say I increase the number of hours, but you might have been up for 50 hours, I think, <laughs> watching my stream. <laughs> no, probably not that long. So. Uh, Lucas Sola asked, uh, how old are you in fancy? I'm 45, believe it or not, and still playing around, trying to be like a kid. <laughs> so, like I said before, my, uh, my wife and kids says that, like I'm like the fourth kid in the family because I've got three children and sometimes I think even the children behave more adult than I do. Not just sometimes, probably most of the time. E to extrude, S to scale, G to move. Uh, okay, we've got a Dylan uh, McDermott here. You said a, a really good uh, question. I want to ask, I've been having trouble weight painting um, where, the, where it doesn't mirror across all the limbs. I actually had that when I when I did my uh, dragon. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna... Should I do a, a slight uh, thing here? I'll do this. Check this out. Minimize that. You can look at this. Uh, if you haven't seen my video, by the way, I do this... Uh, Lava monster in 10 minutes. Believe it or not, I can't even do one character now in one hour. But this lava monster, since I found a, a good workflow, I did this in 10 minutes. No no strings attached, I was going to say. It's not a puppet, but no lie. Uh, so check out that video. It's got a, quite a, a few views now, 100,000 or something. But I'm going to I'm I'm going to be known as like Mr. Tangent or something because I go off on all these weird things. But I'm going to open something here because I did a little thing about Bolt. So I'm going to check, uh, let's see, where did I save it? 
I called it uh, something obscure here. Bolt Hero 6. Check this out. So I created this uh, little character here. I hope you don't mind these little side notes. So uh, if, if you're if you want to if you're here just for the character modeling, then uh, tell me uh, uh, anything in the chat. But you could get a cup of coffee or something. But check this out. I wanted to show you a little bit about that topic of uh, weight painting because I did uh, this little character. This is when he dies. So I should uh, hide this one. So this is. Uh, the proportions of this character is the same as um, Super Mario's original game because the head is the same size as the body. So I wanted to mimic that because I'm doing a little platformer tutorial on uh, how to make a, a game without a single line of code in Unity using Bolt. So I created these little animations. Here's like the run animation. So and uh, here's uh, a few things. So that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about was this other character apart, uh, speaking about weight painting. So I'll hide the hero. And I'll show... Here's, by the way, a little turtle guy as well. So, that's a... And he can, uh, I think, uh, enemy walk, for example. Here, enemy walk. So, there's a little walk animation for him. That's not what I wanted to talk about either. So, I wanted to talk about this dragon armature and this dragon here. So, this one about weight painting. Because I, I noticed, uh, just like you said, now I'm finally coming to the question that was asked. I forgot who asked it now, but you asked uh, in the mirroring sometimes the it, you have problems having limbs replicate the mirroring to the other side, and for me it was uh, that the mirrored bones were not uh, correctly named. So I had a bone here. See all of these bones here. This was the tricky one for me. It's these uh, wings here. Then on the dragon pose. Then let's see what am I even talking about? Uh, the bone name here here. Uh, wing 4.l and I had uh, wing uh, edge 1.l and stuff. And I had forgotten one of these were named just bone, not the .l. So make sure that your uh, left and right limbs are .l and .r. That could be the issue that you're having because my wing was not animating on that side. And uh, I think I, I had like a little, uh, let's see, forgot uh, the fly animation for example. And we can hide the armature. Then I had the problem that I had was that this wing here didn't uh, follow at all. It's, it was stretching the the vertices, all sorts of weird things. And it was definitely in my case I had named the wrong thing. Let's see. Uh, I've got some other questions here. Mia PC, this these parts are awesome, great. So maybe uh, I guess the, if uh, I'll just keep going off these tangents. If I find something that I think could be useful for any of you, then I'll. I'll do it. Let's see, uh, we've got some other stuff here. Ignore that, my line, <laughs> my wife wrote that line, so I'll ignore that one, it's probably... <laughs> okay, again, I go with the, that, that's a joke, by the way. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Fike said, if we, <laughs> if we would uh, be here just for the character modeling, we would have left way earlier. Good point. You should have, uh, I think uh, some of you did, probably. Like, what is this guy doing? I'm dro I'm dropping viewers now. I'm, I'm down to 260, from 300 to 260. Please help me out, guys. Uh, have someone else to that feels sorry for me to watch. All right. Okay, I love getting a refund from for Bolt when Unity bought it. Yeah, that was good. They bought it. So, All right. Cool stuff. I say that too much as well. Okay. Now, um, let's go back to where we were doing. So, I'll go back... Go back. Here we go. Here's our druid again. And he needs more muscles. Okay, I did it again. I pressed 2 to hide, unfortunately, the collection there. It's an easy enough thing to do back. Okay, see some dabbing. Is that dabbing going on? Yeah. Some dabs going in the chats. Okay. And here... Let's do... Uh, we can, uh, I need a little bit more geometry here. How should we do that? We can do uh, control R. I'm actually gonna do, should I even do this? I'll do that. I'll put some extra geometry on the whole body here. E to extrude, because these are gonna be like paws now. Rotate. So, because this is the uh, skin, uh, the fox skin that's tied together here. 
and then he needs muscles. That's what I was trying to do first. So I'll do that scale. Here we go. Muscles. That looks more like a. Uh, he's at too much. I'll slim him down a little bit there. I'm gonna put some uh, waist thing here around him. So I'll put uh, like a green color. He's a forest person here as well. I, I need to modify this texture because all the colors are really saturated in one color. I need some blends like between a, a blue gray or less saturation in the colors I need. So I'll have to fix that at some point because I don't necessarily want these really stark colors. But if that's even a word. And here we can do, uh, I'll just do front view, alt Z. Uh, actually, I'll keep faces there. Select these, alt Z, and then we'll do a gray here, or a blue, green. <laughs> Not a single digit right there. Control R, alt select these, alt S to scale it. There. We can make a, like a flap hanging down here in the front. I'm so lucky that I'm doing cartoon stuff, because I was if I was trying to do stuff that looked... Uh, cool or something, then we have a problem. It's a wolf pelt. Thanks, Daniel Strauss. That's right. Thanks for actually figuring out the word. You probably didn't figure it out, but you knew what it was. I didn't. So that's good. All right. Scale that. Scale. Maybe the good thing about this is that I can teach some uh, how to do stuff in Blender a little bit, and then people with uh, artistic talent that can actually... Uh, Draw or model things can make some useful out of these useful moves out of those. So let's see. I'm gonna move uh, e texture that on. Let's bring it down to there. I definitely need stuff with less saturated colors here. So here I'm gonna do like alt. Let's see. Let's do a belt here. So I'll do dark or a brown here. Alt e texture long face normals. Scale it a bit. Oh no. Um, let's see. Control Z. Alt E. Extra long face normals. Move it down. Control plus. Scale Z. Flatten it a little bit. It's more like a rope. <clears throat> okay, so druids often have sickles as a weapon. Maybe give him one. Good idea. He's going to have a pet eagle as well. All right, probably missing some stuff here as well, but here I'm gonna make uh, I'll fix this in a second. I'm gonna prob no, I'll, do I'll fix it now I'm gonna do I to inset here. So I can get a little bit more geometry here, and I'm gonna make this thing hang down So let's put that on R to rotate E to extrude S to scale. I'm gonna probably disable symmetry so I can have these things a little bit uh, different on both sides so they don't look so symmetrical. But I'll do that in a second. Then we can do the same thing here. We'll just do E to extrude, S to scale, move that to there. Here. E to move that on down. Okay. Be all right. So it's just some uh, like fabric tied around here that's hanging down a little bit. And these straps, uh, it's as if there are two wraps that are hanging down, so I'll fix that. <clears throat> all right. So... Uh, so the the Bloxy Hunter is asking, uh, I wonder how these models would look with the subdivision surface modifier, and I'll tell you exactly what they look like. Uh, I'll save it first though. And you could uh, definitely apply that one, and then, but you'd have to do quite a lot of oop, a lot of corrections to it. But I'll show you. So Control Two, that's what it looked like with the subdivision, or Control Three, and then you'd probably have to let's do shade smooth as well. There's actually a right click, someone told me in my last video, I can just right click and do shade smooth. That's it. So that's what it looked like. You'd probably need to create a lot of uh, harder edges and define the, but you could bring this into sculpt and stuff. The reason why I don't do uh, this is because I'm sort of stuck in this uh, weird loop of doing low poly stuff. I, I don't know why, I just like, uh, it's my version of uh, pixel art, I think. I love pixel art and uh, retro looking games. So that's why I, I tend to stick to this flat shaded look. Let's do uh, here. Yeah, please no subdivision. We're here for the low poly. Thanks, Arvid. Yeah, I'll keep it. Keep it real. 
<laughs> yeah, awful. All right. So now we're going to do... Uh, here we could uh, do... Uh, the paws are here. Two paws. And then... Uh, I'm going to take off the uh, subdivision here. So we can actually do the... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out here how that thing is connected. I don't know. I don't see the back of it. So I can't really fix it. But here, let's put some green fabric on his arm as well. This is way too saturated, I think. Can I find a different saturated green? No, I can't. So, note to self, fixed my uh, texture for to include less saturated colors. Okay, I actually need to uh, do the hair now. And the face. He's gonna have a beard as well. But since we've got some geometry now, we can change the face a little bit. Uh, make the eyes a little bit flatter. So I'll just shift select a bunch of these. Scale, Z. I can see now, I'm meant to finish this live stream off in 30 minutes. So I have a feeling uh, I'm not going to be able to do uh, six more or five more characters in, um, in 30 minutes. That's not going to happen. So it uh, looks like we'll be streaming again soon. We'll do a little bit on nose on this guy, and then we can do a beard. He's gonna have a beard. So I'm gonna select a few of these. I to inset. B. I have to come up with a name of this. Uh, gamers level up, by the way. Put in the chat if... Uh, am I allowed to do these on Saturday nights a little bit more often? So... Could you uh, confirm if that's a... I, I know you're just uh, one floor above me, but if I ask on the stream now, I can blame you if you say no. So... That's uh, be good. <clears throat> and if you want to support this chat, remember, uh, or the stream, remember there's the super chat feature. The, you can, I guess uh, I'll open up to request more characters, because uh, I'll just note them down. If I'm going to continue with this a little bit on and off, then uh, uh, you can still request characters to be made through the super chat feature. That's just uh, down at the chat column somewhere. So if you do a super chat and say what you want, I guess... Uh, I'll add that to my list and I'll prioritize them after this batch. I'll prioritize them to the to the size of the contribution there. So if uh, if it's a one cent super chat, I might uh, prioritize it quite far down. Just so uh, otherwise I'll get spammed with uh, with stuff probably. Probably not. All right, let's have a look here. Wife permission granted. So I see a yes there. Could you confirm in writing? That's because uh, you could just say now that that yes was for something totally different. It was for some chat comment, some random one upstairs, like so. But then, uh, could you please just confirm that we're gonna do these chats uh, or these Saturday streams a little bit more? I, I don't want to put you on the spot. That's why I'm doing it. Let's put the beard here. G. Alt E. Should I do, uh, I'll do that one as well. Actually, I'll do, I'll leave a little space for a mouth here. Scale Z here. And then here we'll do, uh, okay, that's, uh, we'll do a mustache here just after. Alt E to extrude long face normals. S to scale, bring it down. G. I'm gonna make a bit of a narrower beard here. Can change the face shape, that's okay. And beard, we said, so it's not gonna be this color. It's gonna be Maggie Place, cool. Uh, thanks for the super chat, Maggie. We got the uh, Streetman TV, lol. What does that mean? Is that a request for a character? Streetman TV, is that actually a character that I should know about? I have to Google. Okay, obviously it's a thing. What is this? Okay, I'll have to. It's a musical artist. I'm s sorry. I'm. I'm probably. You're laughing at me now because maybe people aren't meant to know what this is. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a. I'll add that to the list since it's a super chat. You're entitled to it. So let's do it. Insert Streetman TV, and I'll put your name down here as well. So we got Maggie Plays with a Z. 
Hey, I'll have to Google that one when time comes to it. I can't promise when these are going to be made. I'll just uh, have to, like, chug them off in the... Chug them off. Is that a word even? We've got Fikes here as well. Ooh, astronaut. I love astronauts. I love to model them as well. So we've got uh, Fikes again here. I haven't actually... You've got another one as well. A, a goal, Fikes. You've requested a goal as well. Or Gaul. G-H-O-U-L. So we've got an astronaut with detachable helmet. Okay, and then it says, not like your 10 minute one, because that didn't have a detachable helmet, right? So this one will have an, a detachable helmet that I do. But that's, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that one today, but I've added it to my list here as well. So let's have a look. Uh, Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. I could probably do some Splinter Cell at some point. So. All right. <laughs> yeah. Having a good topology in the beginning really pays off. That's true. Uh, you should have a good topology. That's why uh, I don't really on this one. But that's okay. I think uh, if you're doing characters that are going to be used uh, as assets in, in the proper games, and you have the time to do a really good topology ones, then you should definitely go for it. But if you're just m making prototypes, do them there, stuff, placeholder animations, or if you don't mind that it's not going to be pixel perfect, then I'd say uh, I'm, uh, I actually really uh, like just blocking it out like this. You could retopologize later on. A lot of people do uh, sculpting really detailed like characters. And then there are some really good, I actually found recently some really good uh, videos. There are two guys, I think they're, I don't know if they're streaming, I think they're doing videos. And they do really good uh, retopology videos. And uh, you should, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can find those because uh, it's got some really nifty tricks in Blender, how to configure it to, uh, to do like a shrimp, shrink wrap modifier. And also it attaches it in the right place. So when you do the retopology, it works really good. So that's definitely uh, quite interesting to look at. I'm gonna add, uh, should I add even more details here on, the, on this character, Alt S? I think so, because I wanna do uh, Control R, Control R, let's make, make some muscles here. Then we'll do uh, hair. E. That in. I'm gonna put some. Uh, okay, he's gonna have a mustache as well. So, he takes through that on. People told me in the live stream that when I started to go silent, I was tired. I don't really feel that tired now, uh, but I'm still going silent. So, we got uh, there. Then, here we should do hair now. This, uh, I guess this one's a problem since, uh, so what I'll do is I'll do X here and then dissolve that edge. And then here I'm gonna do uh, K for a knife tool. And since we're actually getting away with it, cause all of these are quads now, so I'm not actually breaking the topology that uh, into something worse. So we've got a bunch of quads there. We could do an ear for him, that could be useful. So uh, maybe we'll do, uh, I'll just do Shift D, duplicate it, scale Y. And I'm gonna detach this ear into a separate object. E to extrude that on. L, it's not so picky. Scale, low poly, my friend. Gamers level up. We've got 50 kroner uh, super chat here from Gamers Level Up. Consulted my expert, Pixel Muggler, on SAT sessions. The advice is that you know where the credit card is. The advice is that you know where the credit card is. Oh, I get you. So I get to spend, uh, I used to, I can use my credit card on treats for myself as well. That's great. I like that idea. I even sort of read that wrong, by the way. So, yeah, okay. I guess that could be a deal. Though. I'll be as, uh, maybe silence is just focusing. Could be, could be. If I focused, then uh, I, I couldn't have an excuse uh, why these uh, objects are looking the way they do. <laughs> they do. 
Okay, I'm gonna do hair here as well. So he's gonna have a good hairline as opposed to mine. He's actually gonna have hair reaching all the way down to his eyebrows, I think. So Alt E, extrude long face normals. That's the one nice side of hair. Control plus, it's not actually that thick though. G, but we can uh, break it up a little bit like this. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the mirror modifier so we can start to add some differences to him. So. G to move that on. Let's see, I should have really... Sometimes, I guess I should really consider having some more detailed uh, here, but I can do this one. Scale Y. Scale Y. E. Okay, here. Now I'm gonna pl apply the... this. Uh, oh, amber eyes! I meant to have amber eyes. That was a specific request, actually. So, we'll go there. We can reshape these a little bit. Uh, okay. So, that was actually a, a specific request now. So, without the cavity, this sharp line here, in a game engine you wouldn't have it necessarily because you'd have uh, the cavity off, so the... Uh, but you can have some other features on it. Too. Okay, so uh, so Dan, uh, have to get going. Good to see you all again. Thank you for joining, Dan. Nice to see you here. So take care. You might have left already, but if you see the rerun. Oh yeah, sculpting. That's fun. I should do that more often. So also, the arms and legs uh, were way too blocky. Blocky. Uh, sorry, uh, Fikes. Uh, also, the arms and legs were way too blocky. Is this for uh, for this model? Let's see. Oh, they're all blocky, I guess. Okay. You can confirm, I guess. Oh, Draco as well. Thanks for the super chat, my friend. A dragon that is standing up like a person. Same rig. Okay, that's a challenge taken. So, I'll add that. So, a uh, uh, dragon standing up with same rig. Okay, and that's from Draco. Draco, Draco. So hard. There we go. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, I screamed, so I even hurt my my own ears there. Uh, so yeah, uh, less blocky than the uh, than that uh, character. So I'll keep. Uh, I guess uh, I'm gonna try to make them compatible with each other. So I'll keep about this uh, level of detail. I know it's low level of detail. Hopefully it's uh, sufficient enough. So control R, I'll add a little bit more detail here as well. Control R. That's it. And then, uh, okay, we'll have uh, that elbow is too thick now. So we'll do one to see the vertices here. Scale Z, oh, scale X. And there we go, scale it. Alt Z. The reason why, if you didn't catch my last stream, the, there is a reason to why these uh, joints are like this with the topology. It's not by accident or, or wrong topology. It's uh, actually a decent topology when you have joint fold folding for uh, low poly characters. Then this uh, in the elbow or whatever the opposite name of an elbow is, I can't remember what this is called, but the crease here, it collapses really nicely when you have that topology. So that's why it, it is the way it is. Okay, well, I've got some more detail here. I can hold the control key to move it to there. Move that back. Scale by. Oh, we've got uh, some more stuff going on here as well. Mia PC, nice evening, yeah. For uh, our friend Dan who left the chat there. Uh, Tomas. Uh, hello, Infensia. Hello, Tomas. Nice to see you. Oh, yeah. So. All oh, right, okay. So Arvid said, my wife joined in, by the way, watching the stream with you, uh, sorry, with me two hours ago. But now we're both tired. See you on Discord. Have a good night all together. Oh my God, I think uh, Arvid, this is actually a record for you. I, I didn't mean to keep you off this long because uh, usually you had to bed about midnight, don't you? So thanks for staying up with well, that little bit extra time. Appreciate it. 
keep it low poly forever, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to do anything else, so... I'm gonna put even more definition here. This is nearly becoming high poly, but it's not gonna be high poly. Don't worry. Or it is nearly getting a six pack here. Should we get some more stuff here? Let's do it. Check this out. I to inset, I to inset again for individual. That's one square six pack. No, I don't think I'm gonna have that. Let's just leave it like that for now. Oh, Fikes again. Uh, thanks a lot, guy. uh, guys. So, Fikes, for the, you're a super chat master, it seems like. Yeah, as uh, as you uh, like space, an alien for the astronaut. Great idea. So, let's write this down. Alien for the astronaut. Thanks a lot, Fikes, again. Fikes, there we go. Whoa, still live. Yeah, still live. I'm gonna, let's see, it's 4 p.m. there. It's uh, getting a warm... But, um, I think uh, what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna stream for another, uh, let's see, I'll stream for another 20 minutes so we get, uh, or until, let's see, what the timer says, what does the timer say? I should uh, have a look here, just so you know. I've, I'll stream for another 17 minutes now, and then uh, I might uh, stream next Saturday again. If you're kind to me, I'll, I'll stream again. So I'll have to see what my subscribe subscriber count like I said last time on the 24 hour stream that's the I dropped more subscribers than I gained near enough that day so I think maybe it was the notifications that drove people nuts or maybe they just realized what a uh, weirdo I am so they they stopped well I want to make this a thing it's quite fun and it's good practice so okay I'm gonna do I'll control save that one and then uh, now I'm gonna apply the mirror modifier pow control a okay that didn't work I need to tab out of edit mode control a because now we're, we've got the freedom now to start doing a little bit of different like shapes to it. So R, here's like some fabric hanging down. Thick fabric, apparently. Scale, G to move that on, G to move that. So I, I go off the symmetry and it's nearly looking like it's symmetric anyway. So I'll have to break this up a little bit more. I'm gonna have this hanging down like this. I need to move that whole face down. This one can go up, so we'll just start to make it look a little bit different here on both sides. I'm too curious to see what's going on in the chat all the time. So, uh, Michael uh, Sirota. Uh, so, Infancia, do it again next Saturday. Sounds like a fun idea. I think I'll do that. So, same time. Is that okay? So, let's see. Some topology fixing video tips for... Uh, or tips. Would be good for newcomers. Suggestion. Good point, uh, Black. Paladin. So I'll do uh, fixing topology to a decent level, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fikes seems the best way to get the models. <laughs> okay. <laughs> seems like the best way to get models for some prototypes of game ideas I have. Smart move. More of you should do that as well. If you're thinking about prototyping something, I mean, you don't have some character models done and you don't mind them using the same rig or also other people could use these. So keep that in mind. But uh, then uh, you could actually uh, super chat your suggestions here. Oh, I'm dangerous now because uh, I actually did that without... Should do it on both sides. This is the dangerous thing when uh, you've disabled the mirror modifier. So I'll move this in. I've got lots of geometry in here to work with now. So we can make some like different shapes here as well. Do this, this. We can even rotate things here. We get this... Uh, I guess we should have uh, like a face here as well. E to extrude, S to scale. Here's like the other paw. E to extrude, S to scale. Let's see, that hangs there. We're gonna do one on this side as well. E to extrude, R to rotate, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. And then here, let's try to, let's, should we try to make a low poly like Fox head here? So I'll do that. Alt E, extra long face normals. G to move it down to here. Speaking about topology. There we go. Let's do uh, scale that on. I just want to make something that could resemble. Uh, usually by the time uh, they hang on someone's back, they're pretty dead. So I think we can get away with a uh, pretty dead uh, looking animal here as well. There we go. And then we'll move this up 
We've got some chats going on as well. So this is going to be... Here we can do... Uh, what should we do here? I guess the ears could still be here. So there's one going to be... Okay. So I'm working without the mirror modifier now. So I have to try to do stuff simultaneously here on both sides. I'll do Alt E, extra long face normals, S to scale. See that it moves in like this now into the center. If you don't want that to happen, press period and do individual origins and scale it down. And then it'll do its own origin there. We can do these two. I to inset this one. We have to be careful not to do too much. And then Alt E, extra long face normals and S to scale it down significantly. So I'm, I'm not going to make uh, a big fox face. No, fox, I said that uh, wrong. I meant uh, wolf's face. So scale. Okay, now I'm going to go back into uh, medium point scale. Here, footsteps again here. Scale X. Okay, that's not going to work because this is broken. So scale E. Scale. All right. Another co so what? Tea and, tea and coffee. coffee. I haven't fin finished these yet. That's, this is for Draco. <laughs> Hi, uh, Draco. I've brought you some. Uh, uh, actually, I'll put it in the Liverpoolian accent. I've brought you some tea and coffee, all right. <laughs> in my E to extrude as the scale. Thanks for that. Ah, <laughs> oh, that burnt. So let's see. We've got uh, rectum. Fikes, it's in the list. Okay, let's see. Oh, Mark uh, W. Tal. Or Tal. So, uh, five euros. Thank you for that super chat, my friend. Uh, I'd like to see a stream where you make a complete scene. <laughs> I'm pretty good at making scenes sometimes. Uh, so, uh, that could be an idea for two or three hours of contents. Yeah. Uh, what type of scene uh, were you thinking about? So, please, uh, I'd happily do that. So, but please, uh, like, what type of scene were you thinking? Put it in the comments, meanwhile. Mark. Tal. So I'm starting to get into a territory here now where the list is growing and I have to try to promise these streams as well, maybe. Let's see. I'm just trying to write here, so complete scene. And I'll put a question mark here now because uh, Maybe I could make the complete scene, but also put characters in that scene, possibly. So let's have a look. Oh, low poly troll. That could be fun as well. Yeah. Uh, we've got Cy back as well. Uh, thank you for your hard work on showing how low, low poly modeling work. Yeah, I was thinking it's hard, uh, but now it's my passion. A huge thanks to you. Watch all your vids and do modeling myself too. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Cy Black. Cy back. <laughs> I'm happy to be able to uh, inspire people and, uh, and and dare to do their own modeling. So it's a lot of fun. You should uh, don't be afraid. And if it looks like uh, like not that good, don't worry too much about it. That's <laughs> what I've been living with for a long time. But usually, like you learn about uh, with with the process, and every time you make it, you'll make a little bit small improvements. So. Don't be afraid. Just go ahead and model. That's why I think uh, low poly modeling is good too. If uh, you can start over so many times and practice and practice and practice, so that's it. We'll do. Uh, I think I'll I'll be happy with this. I, I just wanted to keep it. That looks a little bit strange. S scale X. So I'm just gonna do black here, and I'm not gonna go into details. But you can just sort of see that it's a head there. And then uh, I wanted to do here on this arm. I want to do some feature as well. So he's gonna have like a thing for his arm. It's like a when you shoot a bow and arrow, maybe it's like one of those protecting things. Or like a strap. I guess, uh, let's see, if you're right-handed, you'd have it on the left arm. So this is not that. Unless he's left-handed, maybe. E. Here we go. Alt E to extrude long face normals. Should have done that first, actually. Alt S to scale it. And then, uh, oops. A to scale, zero. G, that's it. Oh, I forgot to. Anyway, I can make these a bit darker. G to there. 
And here we go. He, oh, he was meant to have a pet eagle as well. That's right. Oh, yeah, combined requests. I could do that as well. Did you get 2.9 working yet? Matthew uh, Rushworth is asking. Thanks for having a simple name for me to say for a change. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got it. It's working. This is 2.9. Okay, I'm fiddling now. But well, I guess that should be in a little bit. So, there. Okay, we'll do uh, this one. This is off to. Okay, we got a problem with the uh, box thing because that needs to be white. And here's maybe a, like a, a strap here. You can have a band here as well. Alt R, Alt E to extrude long face norm. Okay, we've got a problem there. Alt E, okay, I picked the wrong one. Extrude long face normals. Control plus G to move that on up to here as well. Got some different things going on on his sleeve. Here, he'll have a, like a little band as well. Control R, Control R. Alt, select that one. Alt E, extrude long face normals. Control plus and make it black there. So here we go. He's barefoot. He's got some things. I think we're getting a bit closer now to just uh, add that pet eagle. So I guess he can have that on his arm. And we can attach it to the arm. So it's. I'm not going to animate that one. But I'll uh, do that. So I'm going to finish off the stream by just adding the pet eagle here. So let's put... First of all, we should, uh, okay, he needs uh, some more muscles on his legs. So tab, scale, control R, scale. Okay, I did it again. See now, this is why it's so dangerous to apply the mirror modifier. Because now I need to do both of these, period, and do individual origins, scale. And then I'll do the same here, control R, control R, doesn't have to be exact. Scale. Move that to there. So he's got a little bit uh, more muscles on his legs now, at least. Scale. How are we doing in this chat here as well? So. All right, guys. We uh, we have, uh, he looks like Tarzan with a wolf pelt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. I can't remember what Tarzan looks like. Okay, so the pet eagle now will do. First of all, I'll actually make sure that he can uh, go with the armature here. So I'll select him, shift, select the armature, control P with automatic weights, control tab into post mode. Uh, we got G, he can bend his knees, looking good. Control R, okay, that could have been a little bit better, but it's okay. Some muscles there, yeah, that's okay. We can even try, uh, let's try an animation just to make sure. Should do one from the last time. What did we else, we had the, uh, See, hip shot Henry, draw fire, you can do. So, yeah, seems to be working. We can test the animations here with the, or the weight painting. I think for a low poly, that'll be good enough. We can hide the armature here, so. It's got a little twitch there, but that's okay. That's in the animation, so. All right, uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure there are uh, leggings on there. Maybe, okay, maybe I've missed this one. Let's see. Uh, wrecked. Infancia, chat is doing great. Oh, Wartech bought some merch. Thanks. You should show a picture of it. Proof. No, <laughs> not for proof. It's just that it'd be fun to see. So let's see. Make his. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to catch up a little bit on the. Again, if you put um, at Infancia in the chat there, I'll try to try to gra grab it. Looks like a dance. The hip shot dance. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a new one, maybe. Fortnite dance. A hip shot dance. That'd be it. <laughs> don't, don't look. Okay, so uh, final thing then. We'll finish off this stream by doing that pet eagle. Uh, so I'll go down in flames. Doing a pet eagle here. We'll go back into the UV editing. Hide the armature. We're going to put... Uh... Okay, I keep doing that. I need to put the animation back into T-Pose. t -pose. Here we go. Go back into this one. Also, after this one, tomorrow, I'll uh, I'll just make sure I delete any excess. Uh, maybe I have some random object that's not meant to be there in that extra T-post. But then I'm going to be bundling this now and send it, it uh, send the package uh, out as it is to those who have pre-purchased the uh, character pack. So 
but I will update it again after the next stream. I'll update it again and send it. So uh, don't be afraid. Pre-purchase that one. Check the link in the description. You can support me by, by doing that, and you'll get a bunch of characters for your prototypes and your game ideas. So you can do that, and tomorrow the first batch will come out, and then I'll send out an update next time. Uh, I haven't done a gorilla, actually. No, I haven't. That could be fun as well. UV editing, hide the armature, and then I've got three-ish minutes, but I'll go over a few minutes maybe, but I'll do like the eagle now. It could be on his arm here. So I'll do uh, shift right click, shift A, mesh cube, tab, S to scale it down, tab, shift click the, this guy, press control L and do materials. So we get the material over, tab into edit mode, A scale zero on the left for the UVs, and then make it uh, a brown eagle. Okay, and, and since uh, the eagle is going to be quite small now, I'm going to try to get away with something quite simple. So we can just do... Oh, wrecked! Let's see, I didn't get that one on this screen. I hope I haven't missed... Uh, so oh, no, there we go. It's a bit of lag on the iPad. Trust Apple. Wrecked said... He did a super chat and said, Make Pickle... Pickle Rick. Okay, I'll have to scroll back in the chat to see what that... Maybe that's uh, something I don't get as usual, but I'll, uh, I'll write it down. Friend, so pickly Rick or Mia. Okay, uh, in the Discord, you have to give me a little bit more details there. Maybe I missed something, but it's uh, wrecked who has suggested that one again. Thank you very much for that, my uh, super chatting friend there. So let's see. Ah, right, leggings is for the GF. Okay, this is my wife talking now. So, oh yeah, because uh, you've got the leggings, haven't you? Have you tried them on yet? Did I even get them? I've ordered a whole bunch of my own merch and half of it I'd lost somewhere. I put it in uh, somewhere where I can't find it. I need to, maybe it's in the washing machine or in the washing pile. Maybe it just didn't wash itself somehow. Okay, Eagle. I'll actually have to uh, look at that. This is going to be a very low poly Eagle now, so I'm going to go down in flames with this thing. So let's make, scale that one down, bring it up to here. Let's see. I'm going to do uh, the shape here. Just has to scale it. E to extrude. Okay, let's go side. I'm not even going to do the mirror modify. I'm going to try to be brave now and just do it like this. R to rotate. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale, and E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate, E to extrude, S to scale. Here we're going to make a beak. I'm pretty sure they have beaks anyway. So E to extrude, S to scale, down to there, side view, E to extrude, S to scale. Should we go all the way down to zero already? No, we'll just shrink it down a little bit more. R to rotate, G to move, and here. Let's see, E to extrude, S to scale, zero. Make it really pointy, like that. Control plus, oh no, I can't do that now when I've got no vertices selected there. So let's do, to center on this object, I press delete here. So we're actually on uh, the time limit now, but I'm gonna throw in a few extra bonus uh, minutes of uh, just, Finishing off this little eagle here, so we can have this character all done and dusted. Oh yeah, Jim Engström, uh, you need to do unboxing of the unopened boxes that you have at home. I I, um, I think, uh, have I opened everything? The one thing I haven't unboxed yet is I bought a sound recorder, and a Zoom F8. I bought that like five years ago, and I still haven't opened that box. It's um, brand new still in a box, but I'm gonna, maybe I should open that one. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm gonna make the head. Maybe we'll do this one a bit smaller. Like that. And then I'll just do uh, here. Do a body E to extrude, that's the scale. Like the pelt, this could be just a decorative thing that he uh, ended up having on his thing. Here we go. A feather's gonna be here. We can make this a little bit wider. I'll do like this. So I'm trying. Well, I should just apply the mirror modifier, shouldn't I? I to inset. 
S to scale, Z to flat. Okay, I'll have to do these separate. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do the mirror modify now because I'm just... that'll save me some time. I don't know why I was uh, fighting against that for so long. Screw that one. Okay, we should have really had the... Actually, I'll do the wings here as well, so... Let's uh, get rid of these. X to delete. Dissolve or delete faces. Get that on. X to delete the edges. Okay, I should have done the next set of edges there as well, but not them ones. X to delete edges. And then here we'll do shift select these. F to cap or to create a face. F to create a face. F, oop, wrong ones. F to create a face here. And then now I'm going to extrude this part. I to inset to move it out. And then here I'll do E to extrude that on, S to scale. So this is just going to represent a sitting eagle here. Sounds like a <laughs> like an Indian chief name, sitting eagle. Or a double, uh, double birdie. Hard to rotate, S to scale. And here we've got some uh, distortion issues, but not to worry. G to move, G to move. Need to move feathers there okay and then uh, this is looking slightly worrying we'll fix that by doing that move this one out let's uh, get some legs going here as well for him final thing i to inset b to get the boundary back because we actually want that one now has to scale that actually i don't need that one as well i'll do just this one no i don't how far apart should the legs be they're quite tight, so let's do it this way. I to inset, S to scale, Y, move it down, and scale X. Let's move this one in. Oh, we've got the Matthew Rushworth as well. Test! Thank you so much. That was uh, the most uh, impressive test I've ever seen, actually. Thank you for that super chat, Matthew. A, a $5 test. Great. Well, let's see. Oh, uh, Matthew, uh, you okay, let's see. That was, uh, your test worked and now your follow-up came through. One day, if you have spare time, that's gonna be a difficult one, uh, but I'll try. Uh, you should make a guy with a, uh, let's see, with a cane and sunnies. Ah, like a blind, okay. Eventually, I wanna try to come up with uh, one of for my games. Okay, great. I'll put that one down. Uh, so, let's see. We've got uh, and Sunnies. That's it. Guy with Kane. And finishing off now. So if you're just joining, guys, uh, this is actually towards the end of the stream. But I'm just going to finish off this little eagle here that we've got going that's going to sit on this shoulder or on the arm. So I to inset that on, E to extrude. And uh, let's see. Actually, they don't really have uh, like that long legs, so I'll just do because they're covered in this. So I'll just do this E to extrude. Here we'll do uh, E to extrude that on. This looks like a pigeon. I know. E to extrude. Alt E I did there, and then do I to inset these twice to get them individual. Move them out. E to extrude that on. E to extrude, S to scale. So I went low poly, and then for some reason, the feet I add loads of polygons. That's just stupid. But that's me. Uh, I to inset, bring that one back, and then do E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, that should be doing it. But we need that. Uh, we can't have brown feet. So Alt Z, B to box select that, G to move it to like an orange. Okay, and we can fix this. It just looks like uh, usually they have a lot bigger feet, don't they? So I'll make them a little bit bigger as well. A lot bigger, maybe. Alt Z to see through. Box X S to scale them. They, they should they should be able to grab onto things, shouldn't they? So that's a bit better, I guess. And then an I, I think we'll finish off with here. Should we do a, like a one of those uh, white-headed eagles? I guess. So, and then here, bring that one down. Here we need an eye, don't we? So it's roughly here. 
eye to inset. Eye to inset for the eye. Coincidence? I think not. E to extrude that on. And this one, we're going to do simple because I'm just going to make it black. That's it. And then uh, we can stick it to his own. We're going to finish off now by attaching this uh, to the arm. And we're going to see some animations with this guy running around with this on his arm. And it's going to look ridiculous. So control S. And here we'll do, uh, let's see now, I'll parent this one, I'll do uh, this one. Are you still with me, guys? Uh, you're dropping off now. Don't, uh, you just give me a few more minutes. We need to just look at this last animation now. Bald eagle, yeah. Needs longer legs. Yeah, probably does, but they're tucked up into there, so I think we get away with it. Child of armature. And then now we're going to do, uh, let's see, right, lower arm. Lower arm R and then set inverse and now it should tag along there pretty neatly if we go into the arm uh, animation tab show the armature select it we'll pick a random animation here I should do the walk animations in the next one which one do we have we had uh, let's see these are static poses we've got uh, Lynn Taggart that's uh, one these are all see draw five hip shot henry that was that one let's see so that poor eagle is just tagging along for the ride let's see another animation here as well we've got uh, I, I have to do more animations i think for the for the next ones we've got uh, bullet time neo's bullet time okay that's a bit longer 131 i think it was that is uh see those feet are pretty good there for gripping now let's do one final animation should we do the Rusty Robert sword swing, or should we do Simon Ghost there with a right rifle? Okay, let's add the rifle then. That, this is going to be the la last thing here. We're going to show the rifle there. And then we'll loop this one at 39. Okay. That makes no sense, but we should give him a, a decent weapon otherwise. All right, so I'm just going to look at the uh, little final comments here. Best chicken eagle I've ever seen, Bikes. Great, thanks. That boosted my confidence immensely. So, <laughs> no, that was my own words, I guess. I got to eat them up now. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Michael uh, Sirota, uh, Infensia, I'm deaf staying. Okay, oh, definitely staying. You're not deaf staying. So you're definitely staying. Cool. It's not that much longer, but let's see. Black Paladin. Maybe Eagle sitting on the shoulder would be better. Yeah. I, I had an, a vision of him, uh, like, landing on the, on the arm, but I think you're perfectly right there. We should uh, reparent him to the shoulder probably later on, because that eagle is going to struggle to stay on there. All right, we've got some uh, stuff here. Wrecked. Uh, might be a good idea to include some basic animations for the pack. Yes, definitely. Simple walk, run, jump, crouch. Those are definitely coming. Should we do that in the next video, maybe? In the next stream? I think that would be really good. Uh, I'll, I'll focus on some gener generic animations for sure. Those are well needed. So idle jumping running uh like a death thing but usually on a ragdoll those anyway maybe get up from prone and uh, back positions stuff like that will do so almost as good as neo on a scooter yeah so uh andreas brillen uh, so can i mark next saturday 22 let's do it let's do uh, another stream ne next saturday at 10 o'clock uh, central european time chris uh, delpierre thinks that the eagle looks great thank you so much uh I like it too, now that I see it, so I'm happy with that. I didn't uh, go down in too much of uh, Burning Flames. This guy looks like a naked version of Snake from MSG. What's MSG again? Mysteries? Uh, I don't even know. So, Alright, we've got some signing off. People are about to look forward to the next stream. You probably had enough of me now. Uh, great. So, next Saturday, 10 o'clock, let's do it. And don't forget the 10 minute modeling challenge as well on Thursday. So that's uh, a premiere. They look, a, maybe that sounds a bit lame nowadays that I've started to stream, but I'd love to see you there as well. I'll be in the chat for that one. And uh, until next time, I hope you all have a lot of fun. Head over to the Discord and uh, check my other videos. It'll be in the description there. We can have a good chat in the Discord. It seems to be a good uh, atmosphere going there. So head over there, have a good one. Have a continued great weekend. I'm gonna be quiet now. So take care everyone and I'll see you soon again. Bye for now. I should uh, prep to switch this off beforehand. You... <laughs> I'm just looking at the final comments here. Hilarious. Good one. Take care, everyone. Now I'm definitely going to hit the switch off button here. Stop streaming. Bye for real.
Oh, are you sure you want to end the stream? Yes, I am. Bye. <laughs> For real, real.